Hey, yo, folks. How y'all doing? Hey, Yoel. Oh, can you hear me okay? I'm sure this is coming out now. And fix that, too. Hey, well, guys. How's it going? Well, hi from Argentina. Oh, it's lovely to have you here, my man. What time is it in Argentina? I imagine it's very early in the day for you. Ah, dear. Let me just get a few bits set up just before we get going. Hop on into the game, that tends to help. Blue Bear Hunt when? I already got Blue Bear. Um, I haven't streamed this in a while. Um, Ruby helped me out and I actually have him in my town now. Um, like she, she's been living here for like, I think close to a month. Yeah, uh, I, I just haven't, I just haven't streamed this or like shown you guys an update on the town basically. Uh, Blue Bear is very much here now though. No big announcements today. Instead, allow me to wish you all fun to tally weekend. Uh, we're basically just gonna go fishing this stream. We're gonna go fishing and I think there's like a wedding event that's in the game. I thought we'd just have a super chill stream today and just talk the chat a while and catch up on our fish. Uh, but yeah, here, I'll, I'll show you like right off the bat just so I'm not pulling your leg. Oh, let me, let me adjust the sound real quick. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> she is. See, Blue Bear is living here. She's having a grand old time, and our house is blue. Uh, the eventual plan is to cover this house with blue flowers. Yeah, I, I, she's living here now. I haven't shown her the shrine that I've got to her in my house, because that might be a little fucking creepy. Um, so as long as she doesn't come inside my house, it's fine. Ah, uh, dear. Amber and Moody, thank you for 100 bits each. Graduated BSC today. Graduation was online, so it was weird. Oh, congratulations all the same. Yeah, I imagine graduations this year in general are a bit weird. This weird, this year in general is just weird. That's the best way to put it. Glad she's, she, see she's settled in. Thank you, thank you for the 500 bits, Ruby. And yeah, thank you again for getting, sending Blue Bear my way. Very much appreciate it. I still haven't organized my flowers since the town tour video. Um, it's getting out of hand a a across the town. Uh, I, I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown of what's been going on. It's tulips like fucking everywhere in this place at the moment. Um, these flowers, they're, they're also kind of getting out of hand. They're just sprawling out everywhere. Uh, I made a little pond here. I got a snapping turtle. He, he just chills here, and if you if you touch him, he tries to bite you. I love him. Um, so we got him in the town. Uh, campsites, all it's all looking good up here. Uh, I've just been getting like little decorative blocks like all over the place. Titan, thank you for a hundred bits. Hi, RT. I'm Ewan. My girlfriend broke up with me not so long ago, but watching you make me, makes me happy. Thanks so much for everything. Also, this is my first stream. Well, you're very welcome to the stream, my man. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, everyone, for the hype train there, too. Appreciate it, lads. Okay. What's happening? I'm just giving a little rundown of the town, because it's been a while since people have seen it. The Pansy Garden, it, it's also gotten out of hand. This fucker's still living here, and he just won't leave. Uh, but like, other villagers have come and gone. I think like two different villagers left. He refuses to move out, and I have to, I have to move his home. Um, just so like it, it was out of the way of the road. But I, I hate you, and I I'm gonna dance in your grave the mo first chance I can. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta redo a lot of the flower gardens, though, as you can probably tell. Um, some nice things that have happened since the last time. Well, th they might have been in the town tour video, but I have like pretty much all my bridges and my inclines done now uh, for my entire town. 
Um, I've, I've pretty much like the town layout finalized. I didn't show it off on stream before, but here's the little gym I've got. This is a squirrel who moved in recently. This is Sylvana. For some reason I thought her name was Nutmeg. Yeah, she's living here now too. And these flowers over here completely overrun this part of town. Like this, I this is why I need to organize my flowers because like this bit's just getting real bad. And the longer I leave this, the worse it gets. <laughs> because there's just flowers fucking everywhere now. Um, and I don't I don't know what to do. But uh, that that's a problem for future me to deal with. House is doing well. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is new. Okay, okay, sliders in town. We can probably we can probably um, listen to a song a little bit later. I think I think we'll play like while we're still streaming. At least I hope so. We got the double tea cups, and they play their music. Like out of sync to each other, which is slightly maddening. <laughs> I also have a lot of fossils. I um, I I need to hand in at some point. Cold armor shoes. <laughs> it's maddening, isn't it? <laughs> I want to get like four more of these and just have them all play out of sync. Yeah, I need I need to I need to put some of these like recipes away. I have like duplicate copies of some of them. Uh, flowers over here are going well. I made another little pond here because I was looking for some pond fish. Finally got my goalposts too. Um, I think that's. Everything that's new. I don't think there's anything else that's changed since the town tour. Uh, oh. <laughs> we need even more fossils. Uh, one of the sheeps uh, just swapped. That was another thing. Um, there was a yellow sheep. The, there is now this white sheep instead. Um, so like they, they just traded places um, as time went on in the town. There's still one other sheep that's living here too. Get some nook miles for that. Vesta is so cute. Yeah, Vesta I think I'm gonna keep. I want I wanna have at least one cheap villager in the town. It looks a little bit like a Wooloo too, which I think is great. You know, Wooloo just being a sheep. Uh but yeah, that's pretty much all the town changes. Uh I'm gonna send in some of these fossils, I think, just so I can clear up my inventory. And then we might just go fishing and see what else we can do. This is going to be a very laid-back stream uh, for today. We're, we're, we're just going to chill and fish is pretty much the plan. I thought we'd have, like, a calm day before Breath of the Wild tomorrow because Breath of the Wild tomorrow is, is just going to be all go. Uh, it'll probably be a long stream tomorrow, too, just as an FYI. We found all 1,000 diglets yet. Yeah, there's only 150, and yes, I've found them all. I got back. I've been playing a bit more Pokemon since then too. Um, uh, I've actually been working on my Pokedex. I think I have like 400 of 600 uh, caught, which is pretty good. Something like that, anyway. Thank you to everyone that's given bits there too. Uh, I apologize. There's been quite a few just coming in the last while. Like Peach, thank you for 100. Sam, thank you for 150. Best way to make villagers move out is completely ignore them. Yeah, I, I have actually been ignoring hands. That's the thing. He, he refuses to leave. Lucio, thanks for 100 as well. Uh, Koi, thanks for 200 bits. Thank you for being a cool streamer. Finally caught one live on my birthday of all days. Happy birthday to you, man. Okay, let's... Let's just get rid of some of this shite so we can go fishing properly. Have an extra pool in my inventory too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll keep that. I'll keep the exit sign. Uh, and then I'll, I'll keep the recipes. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put them in storage for the time being. Forty nine thousand bells. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Uh, Miranda, thanks for 200 bits. Okay, let's get rid of all this then. And we'll clean up our inventory and then we'll, we'll, we'll get the fishing. Get rid of that. Uh, my house is more or less the same since you guys saw it last too. Not, not much has changed here. I think it's just like a few decorative bits. I got a nicer looking table, which I was quite happy with. Like, this this room is practically the same. I don't know if that house trophy was there on top of the trophy cabinet before. Yeah, uh, everything is pretty good. Can I not put recipes in storage? Oh no. Okay, uh, I will... Pop these on the ground somewhere. Um, I don't think anything's in my basement yet, so I'll pop it down here. No, you can't, and it sucks. Well, we'll just use the basement for these at the moment. Because I've already learned these recipes. I just need to give them out to people instead. Because I, I don't, I, I, they're, they're good ones. And I don't just want to sell them off. Still, thanks to 200 bits. Your Animal Crossing streams got me through a rough time when I had to come back to my overseas exchange early. You've kept me sane. Thank you so much, Dan. Oh, no, hey, no problem. Hope the overseas exchange went okay. Imagine it's quite scary. Can you guys hear the audio okay in relation to me, too? Game's not too loud or anything like that. Just making sure. It's all good? All good. Cool. No, just making sure. Okay, I think we're good to go fishing. I'm just gonna see if I have any more sticks or something so I can make some more fishing rods. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll need those as time goes on. You know what? I like keeping my inventory clean. There we go. I do you only have 227 things in your storage? Uh, I try to clear it out quite a bit. Uh, for the most part, it's just clothes in my storage, crafting materials, or furniture I want to put in my house at some point. Everything else, I, I kind of just sell off. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Actually, I'm going to be very cheeky. Let's open up uh, the list of bugs and fish for June. And we'll see if there's anything in particular we want to keep an eye out for. Uh, Animal Crossing fishing. June. And then bugs. June. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm being very cheeky. I'm gonna, gonna hone in on the fish here. Okay, so so far I have. Well, I'm just following this list on this page here. If people want to have a look at what I'm looking at, that's the page I'm on. Uh, and I'm just trying to see what fish I'm actually missing that I can catch around this time. Okay, if I go quick, I can catch a giant snakehead in the pond up until 4 o'clock. I don't have that one. Char I have. A guppy in the river up until 4 o'clock. And then a betta in the river up until 4 o'clock. I need small and tiny river fish. And then I'm looking for one in the pond. I think. Oh, and I'm looking for an arowana. Uh, they, they are, they're after four o'clock. Okay, so that's three fish we can catch before four. So we're gonna we're gonna hone in on those. And then for ocean fish, I'm doing really well on like the big rare fish as well. By the way, I, I caught like all these kinds of sharks the other day. And I got my giant trevally and my mahi mahi. Like, look at these. That, like, th th those are just most of the rarest fish uh, that we need. I have every ocean fish for this season now. Like, okay, right. So it's it's just these three fish, and we can get them before four o'clock, and then after that, it's literally just an arowana, and that's it. I got I got like three of these the other day too. Okay. Um, so we're gonna- we're gonna go fishing in the river. This is what streamers call a poggers. Akoi, thank you for another 200 bits. Uh, I'm a lesbian, thanks for 100 bits. And I live in the non-existent country of New Zealand, I appreciate the early stream. Love you, Dad. No problem. 
What's it like living in the void? No, Lord of the Rings aren't real. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so if we're quick, we can catch three fish before four o'clock. That's what that's what we're gonna try and do. Oh, there's. <laughs> That's a good start! <laughs> That's the first one! Uh, so, there's a big one in the pond then, and then there's one more uh, in the river that is a guppy, and that is a tiny fish shadow. Okay, so I, I, I want to ignore that one because I'm looking for tiny uh, shadows in the river. But yeah, we're, we're, it's, it's going to be a very laid back stream today. Uh, this is one of those streams where like, I don't even know if it's going to make it to YouTube. I kind of just want to play Animal Crossing. And, and just have a, kind of a calm day. Because I realized it again when we were playing um, Pokemon the other day. Is, is that, like, we did so much shiny hunting before. That we, we like, almost every week we would have a very chill laid back stream where we just chat. Um, but since a lot more series have been a lot more go since then, we, we haven't ha been able to do that as often. So we're just gonna take a chill. Is this tiny? Don't think it is. That's a rainbow fish. Oh no, that is a tiny fish shadow. Okay, that was a different one that I already got. Savannah's gonna help us. Okay. The chill streams are great. Well, thank you very much. I just like to relax from time to time. Jay, thanks for 100 bits. Your Animal Crossing streams uh, prompted me to get a Switch and try out the game. It's been great help recently, so thank you for introducing me to it. Also, the void is pretty neat. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> How many people are there here from New Zealand that I seem to offend every single time I stream? For fuck's sake, why is he making fun of our country again? <laughs> New Zealand gang. I mean, you just know that there's gonna be like a thousand people here that say they're from New Zealand too. Because uh, like the moment you ask, it's like, yes, it turns out literally every person on your stream is from New Zealand. 100% of your demographic. And there's like one guy in the States. That's it. Well then, I'm from Narnia. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, uh, Caramon, thank you for a thousand bits there as well. Australian represent here. We're much better than New Zealand. Ah, no, do hang on, hang on. That's, that's some smack talk if I ever heard of any. Poor New Zealand. At first I don't exist, and now this guy is coming in. Guns blazing. It's not quite right. It's not what we want. I'm amazed there's like always a good few Aussies here as well, because I know I, I know I just know that my stream schedule is awful for you guys. Uh, in the land down under, because the time difference is so fucking severe. Um, so like every time some of you make it to the stream, like like fair play to you for staying awake this long. You know, like, like Europe and the states, uh, like you guys have it easy. It's okay, RT. We don't sleep here. <laughs> it's just a myth. It, do it, do it doesn't happen. Here's the other sheep, the hot dog sheep. She's still living here too. But we we are one sheep down. Well, actually, no, we've lost two sheep. There was a blue sheep at some point too. The sheep just keep cycling. I don't I don't know what's going on with them. Ah oh dear. Glad you've been streaming earlier now, changing my sleep schedule. Well, it's just on weekends I stream a bit earlier. Oh, Eric, how you doing, friend? What game should I play? I love long walks. They keep your feet entertained. God love them. They're, they're just so simple sometimes. If I could be as happy and as carefree as you. <laughs> I 
My feet make me happy. Like, like that's like Animal Crossing logic. Don't you just love breeding there? Doesn't take much to please them. I love having lungs. Oh, okay, wait, Th this this could be the one. Giant snake head time. Come on. I'm just too good at fishing. <laughs> we got one left we need. I feel like every time I stream, it's like, okay, here's like the two fish we need, and we just get them in like 10 minutes. There, there's now only one left, and then past four o'clock, we're looking for an arowana, and that's it. So we're doing pretty good. Speed run. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, Tofer Sword, thanks for 500 bits. Am I getting Nintendo Switch so I can get this game and a few other games? I'd strongly recommend it. Nintendo Switch is a lovely console. There's just a lot of quality titles on it. Teddy Bay, thanks for 100 bits as well. The sheep know how about, about the Wooloo Massacre. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, Nervous Young, thanks for two quid as well. RT on PM, uh, is it Jacinda Arden? And we're gonna get Interpol onto you. For your slander to my country and my people. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. <laughs> Is that the Prime Minister of New Zealand? I'm not sure how to pronounce that first name. Like, ah, fuck, we've been rumbled. Like, this isn't the fish we need, but it's a big boy. But we're gonna get it anyway. Come on. Is Breath of the Wild good? Breath of the Wild is an amazing game. I recommend it to everyone. Holy shit, a black bass. Not quite our sea bass. Jacinda, but you pronounced it right in my message. I was close. I was close. Oh dear. How long have you been streaming? Um. I mean, in, in general or just today? Uh, in, in today, I've been going about 25 minutes. Um, in general, you know, it's been about 45 minutes. Um, it's a brand new career path for me. Uh, <laughs> no, I've been streaming like readily since um, 2016. But I uh, basically started doing it like much more regularly and committing to it like full time since about 2017 in the summer. Uh, basically, once I finish uni, I, I've been doing this a lot more. Oh, this, this is a pond fish. This, this isn't gonna help us. No, that's just a frog. Taco Gunship, thanks for 100 bits. No, RT, you gotta be in gamer mode all the time. Go, go. JK, love the content. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Disper, thank you for 100 bits as well. Hey, RT, love the stream. Uh, your Brett the Wild Pokemon Animal Crossing streams, maybe get a Switch, keep up the good work. Ain't no problem. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna home in on this tiny fish, so we're just gonna be wandering about the town a lot. Um, in case you're wondering what the plan is. And I'm- I'm just- I'm just gonna be chatting. Uh, we can basically make this like- like a Q&A session or that, you know, it's what we tend to do when we fish. Just chill a while and talk about life and games and that. Did you get Porygon the Isle of Armor? Not just yet. Um, but I'm gonna pick it up eventually. I I'm actually trying to complete the Pokedex so I can get a Shiny Charm. And Sword and Shield. I've been leveling a bunch of stuff up. I, I transferred my old Pokemon over too. Uh, cause I have like a gang of them that I, I like to transfer between every game. And it's basically like a mix of like competitive Pokemon I've made through the years and a pile of legendaries too. Are you going to play more Breath of the Wild after the permadeath run? I mean, the plan at the moment is just to beat Ganon. If I actually do it, you know, we, 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 we might think about what we're doing past that. 
But uh, I, I, the plan with that game has always been we are going to beat Ganon. And I intend to do that tomorrow if I can. It's, uh, it's, it's gonna be an ambitious day to say the least. You still plan to finish Final Fantasy VII? Um, I, hopefully I want to go back to it, yeah. Uh, I kind of got off putting it just because people would scream at me to play other stuff. A lot of the time when I would stream that game. Um, and it just messed with my head after a while. Uh, 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 that's the main reason I stopped playing it. But I, I'm, I'll, I'll go back to it when I'm ready. Cause that game was good fun, and I kind of want to see how it ends, cause... It's got a lot of weird moments. What did he get? Okay, great. <laughs> I'm gonna pop that outside Han's house. There we go. Hey, plan on streaming The Last of Us 2? Uh, Last of Us Part 2 someday? Uh, no. I, I never played the first one. I'm not really interested in it, honestly. Put that can down, man. You've had enough. Um, just... Just doesn't look that appealing to me. Where is it? But you know, to each their own. I know some people are very excited for that, that game, and I'm sure, and you know, I hope they're all enjoying it. Um, it just, I don't know. It, it it just doesn't look like my kind of game. <sighs> Here we have the wild buy that. I, I, we got to find 150 of those next. Pop him outside Hans' is home. You have any cool plans for the summer? Uh, I mean, it kind of depends how the world goes. I think. I think that's most people's plans for the summer. Like, like just see how things are. Um, I, I, I know I'm still going to be streaming over the summer. Uh, normally about this time I would try and get a bunch of traveling in, but obviously that, that's not really an option uh, this year. Um, I'm just gonna see how things go before making any major plans, though, you know, because everything's, like, so up in limbo. Like, uh, it, it, it's really hard to plan life this year, I feel. I, was, I, was, I hear from, like, even my friends and that, where it's like, yeah, I'm trying to find, like, a new place to move to and stuff like that, and it just seems so stressful to have to worry about that in a time like this. You know? I think that's what I got the feeling just for a lot of people this year. And I'm very thankful I finished moving just before this all kicked off. Because I don't know what I, I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Like I would have been very stuck for a good few months. As you can tell, there's not a lot of stuff to do before school might start again this fall. Yeah, I mean I, that's the thing, is school a school's gonna even open then? I I I know for like a lot of places like there are plans to, but you know, we're in like a week by week state for the news at right now. You know, and like, like long term plans like that can very easily change. So, you know, we, we just gotta wait it out. That's why, like, my main plan for this year is just I'm gonna just stream, I'm gonna play some games. Because I know I can do that with certainty. Schools here in the UK plan to reopen in September. I think that's the case for the schools here in Ireland too. But like the question is, will that happen? Because again, you don't know what things will be like then. Uh, we, we gotta wait and see to a degree, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm a draw. Yeah, you better fucking draw, Akia. So help me God. Say this as a supportive friend. You don't pursue your passion. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be fiercely upset. It's an aggressive kind of love. For fuck's sake, enjoy yourself and do something you love. <laughs> oh dear. 
Boomer, thanks for 100 bits. Can you teach me how to fish an Animal Crossing? I can't seem to get the timing right. I just, you just gotta practice. You just press A when, when the bobber goes down. There's nothing else to it. I don't know why I'm looking in the ocean. I'm, I'm looking for a river fish. Gotta, I gotta stick to my rivers. I tend to like carve a new river in the town just so I can like have more chances of finding this fish. Is that small or tiny? I think that's only small. I need a friend like that in my life. It's just, it's just important, you know? It's like, like everyone will think it's stuck in their own heads to a degree. Like sometimes you just need someone to say, say it's like, Fuck, you're amazing! And just like provide some aggressive positivity. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we could all use more of that in our lives. There we go. Another fish. Oh, there's two of those ones! Those ones are just classified as small, so we, we need a smaller fish than that. Oh dear. Uh, C, thanks for 300 bits. RT is the hype man, I never knew I needed. <laughs> Amber and Raz, thank you for 100 bits each as well. This isn't the tiny one again. I, I need a smaller fish. Oh dear. RT is the friend we all need in our lives. <laughs> That's just important, you know, like, as long as you just kind of get through the people unless you scream aggressively at them. You know, so why not do it out in a loving and caring way? <laughs> is this a tiny fish? This is a small fish again. Oh god. I'm just gonna get anything that looks remotely small and hope it's actually tiny. I think we need smaller. Yeah. It's a bluegill, and a bluegill is classified as small. Doing my best. What do you do? It. What do you want to be if you're not a streamer? Um. I mean, I w I was scaring up to go into academia, I guess, before. Uh, the old, the old streaming career took off. It's, that would have been the end goal, you know, if I couldn't do this. Um, but, you know, I, I, I try not to think about, like, what, like... Woods and coulds and things like that, you know? Uh, I kind of like to focus on the present, and I'm very happy for the present. It's like, when I grow up... You know, I, I, I just want to get a real job. Someday I'll grow up and you know I'll stop playing video games. <laughs> oh god. No, I, I love this job. Uh, I don't like thinking about what would have happened if it if it wasn't doing this full time. Ellie, thanks for five gift subs there as well. Thank you very much. Nessie, thanks for five hundred bits as well. Hey T, I know you've been dealing with some shitty audience members lately. Just wanna say you're great to watch no matter what you're playing. Backseat gamers don't know shit. Thank you very much. No, I, I, I've i been getting a lot better at kind of managing that, honestly, uh, lately. I mean, a lot of kind things have been said. So, thanks, guys. But could you imagine it in this game? Just, like, heavy backseat gaming? But, like, but what does backseat gaming even look like for Animal Crossing? Like, you put the flower in the wrong place! I don't like where you put your bridge. You missed fossil. <laughs> Guess that's what it kind of looks like, yeah. Very hard to backseat this one, at least. Get the orange. <laughs> oh, here's a tiny one. Okay, hands, you better not scare it away. Fuck's sake, hands. It's the wrong one. Ah, 
out there. Guys, thanks for 400 bits. Thanks for the stream. It's been a long day. I appreciate the distraction. No problem. Kalanick, thanks for 300 bits. Hey, RT, what have you been cooking during the quarantine? I'm out of recipe ideas. Please help. I, I, I want to learn how to cook during, like, quarantine, but I'm still so bad at cooking. So I, 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 I get very anxious whenever I go to the shops now these days. Um, because no one's wearing fucking face masks and stuff like that. So it's like, you want to keep your distance and you want to get in and get out. Um, as quick as you can. So I, I've just gravitated towards, like, the staple stuff I know how to cook. I know, I know where to find it. So, uh, it's a bit unfortunate. I might, I might try experiment more in future. Hopefully they just make the fuckers mandatory, like, soon. Because, you know... It's a surefire, definite way to contain it. Uh, it's honestly stressful that some people insist that they don't help. It's like, yes, no, like, no, no, they do help. <laughs> it's like, see, Japan. Um, you know, because like, they're doing a pretty good job, and like, that's basically what they do. Like, like Tokyo's one of the densest cities in the world. No one listens, though. That's the thing, yeah. The thing is, like, even if you don't have any symptoms yourself, and even if you feel fine, it's like, it's a courtesy thing more than anything. Because if you don't have any symptoms in that, well, it's like, you could still have it. And you could accidentally pass it on to someone else, and the day might not be so well. You know, so, uh, like... You gotta give people that bit of peace of mind. They just made it mandatory in my state. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, I, I reckon that's gonna become more common. Um, as this goes on. Some people don't show, show symptoms, but still carry it. Well, that's the thing. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, it, it's a courtesy thing more than anything. Face masks are mandatory in Texas and people still don't wear them. Yeah, like, uh, it just makes me sad. But yeah, like, on the cooking front, like, I get a bit anxious whenever I go to the shops now. Um, so it's a bit of a shame because like, I can't have a... Pr you, you can't really have, like, a proper look around on that, you know? Because you're kind of just keep, like watching your back and making sure someone just doesn't like, you know, sneeze on you. Um, so it's a bit of a shame. I I I tend to I, I like my pasta. Uh, I like my stir fries, stuff like that. In Korea, we wore face masks from day one when we knew about the virus. I still have thanks for the 200 bits. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to go about it. You know, it's, it's much more common practice in, like, countries over there, too. Um, you know, uh, even when I was living in Tokyo, if, if you just have a cold or something, um, you just pop one on. You know, and it, it makes sense. It's just so other people don't get your cold. Whereas here, like, the culture is, if you get the cold, it's like, well, the cold's gonna, like, make the rounds now. Everyone in, like... Your town will get the cold. Like, we're... <laughs> we're actually kind of shit at dealing with that kind of stuff in this part of the world. Oh, dear. Now it's, like, much more serious cold. So it's like, we, we need to kind of review the practice. <laughs> You're not the fish I want. Oh, no. Chip, thanks for 100 bits. Hey, RT, love the chilled stream, except for the fact I'm also fishing in Animal Crossing and keep getting our audios mixed up. Oh, that that must be a nightmare. Because, <laughs> yeah, you, you think, like, the fish bites or something, and it's just, like, not quite because it's on my screen. Okay, let's get a new fishing rod. RT, what are your PC specs? Uh, I actually upgraded it recently. Um, I've got like a... I've got a 2080 Ti. I can't remember what make of Ryzen I have in it. But I've now got 64 gigabyte of RAM, which has been like a big quality of life thing. Um, just when you, like, you, you're streaming a lot of intensive stuff and you tend to have a lot of programs open. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought I'd go all out because I, I noticed like sometimes in VR I would get like the occasional bit of lag. Or like the, a bit of lag would show up on the streams. So I, I, I it, it, it's pretty beefy specs. We got the last fish we were looking for. 
That's all three of them. And it's just before four o'clock as well. Let me get some extra Nook Miles. I'm gonna buy, like, loads more teacup rides right now. I, I wanna create hell on earth for the next time um, I stream this. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll make my way to the museum, I'll hand these in, and then I'll order, like, three more teacup rides. Yeah, I think that's every fish that I'm looking for at the moment. The only one that I can... that I need for June now? Is the arowana, and that's after four o'clock, so we'll try get that in a little bit. I'll, I'll see if there's any bugs on my list now, too. Yeah, let, let, let's hand in all of these. That's a betta. That's a guppy. That's a giant snakehead. Museum's doing good. The one thing my museum's been really slacking on is the art front. Because Reg just doesn't like to come to my town. Like, I haven't seen him, like, in m a month or so now. He never shows up. So it's like, like, look at my art gallery. Like, it's fucking abandoned back here. <laughs> we have, we do have the Mona Lisa. But then there's, like, one other painting over here. Okay, and the Terracotta Army. I guess that's something. And a scroll. Like, there's, there's four things. But yeah, like, like, Red never shows up, and it makes me very sad. Because the rest of my museum is, like, pretty chock-a-block. He comes once every 22 days. He's gotta come more often than that, though. If it's once every 22 days, it's gonna take me, like, three years to fill the museum. He came twice in the first week, when they added the update. He just doesn't like to come back. Chock-a-block, what does that mean? Uh, packed. It might be an Irish expression. <laughs> Thoughts from 3 a.m. Thanks for 700 bits. Your village is honestly God so so beautiful. I never have the patience to set all this up. Congrats on the fish, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I've worked hard in my town. I do love this game. Just sell off all these other ones. I'll keep the cans. I can use them as materials. There we go. And I'm gonna make my way over uh, to redeem some Nook Miles too. We use in Australia too? Oh, do you? Okay. Maybe it is just like an odd UK expression or something. <laughs> I just made it to a few parts of the world. Okay, I want to buy more teacup rides. I forgot to play it yesterday as well, so I lost my streak. That's fine. I think I have to order this one. Okay, I'm gonna get... I'll get one more for now, and like every time we stream Animal Crossing, I'll add an additional teacup ride. And gradually make it worse over time. There's another one. Uh, Lumps, thanks for a thousand bits. ART in a month I'll be heading off to college for the first time. Thank God they decided to go forward with fall classes and socially distant housing. Hope we'll get to watch it just as much as I do now. Oh, thank you very much. I uh, hope college goes well. Okay, let me see. Yeah, see, so like, look at our... F We've got so many fish. Like, we're just missing a couple of seasonal ones, honestly. I I've almost, like, caught every fish in the game now. Let's have a look at the bugs, then. And I'm gonna see... Uh, what's next on the list. Got the mantis. Got the two dragonflies. I got the firefly. Next one is over to the rosa beetle. Got the drone beetle. There's a goliath beetle that appears on palm trees after 5 o'clock. And then a rainbow stag that appears on trees after 7 o'clock. And then I have literally everything else. So I, th there's literally no bugs I can catch right now. <laughs> An attempt has been made. 
Oh dear. JF, thank you for a thousand bits as well. I guarantee I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while, and watching you makes me want to play it again. Also talking about shops, I have a phobia of germs, and the thought of going to the shops terrifies me. I'll bend to one in months because it scares me too much. I hope well my anxiety gets bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I know, I know, I know, I know. You're not alone with those thoughts, at least. You know, uh, like shops are just a bit more anxious for most of us these days, I think. Emperor Butterfly is missing? No, it's not. I have it. It was there. Okay, um... I guess we just go fishing in the ocean a while. I, I can... You know what I can do? For the next 12 minutes, I can, I can gather some clams. Because we can use these to spawn more fish. Who's your favorite villager? Bluebear. And I got her in my town. I'm very happy. That, oh, that's the drone beetle. So I already have that one. Okay. I'll just get a few clams as next well. You miss it, a diglet. I've got all the diglets, don't you worry. Apparently the diglet that we got as the reward is actually a perfect IV diglet too. Um, which is quite nice. Like, I'm I'm not complaining about that. I'll, I'll happily take that. There's one. So, I might try even train it up. And, you know, get the most out of our reward for actually doing the fucking quest. I got, um, some of, the, like, the other, like, special event Pokemon from, like, home as well. Like, Pokemon home, the storage thing. You get like one of each of the Galarian starters with their hidden ability, which is actually really cool because um, the fire one has an ability that's like it changes its type whenever it uses a, an attack, so like it matches it. So I'm excited to try that out some more because like Greninja is one of my favorite Pokemon that has the same ability, and you you just get that for free by like in, like using the app. You guys can hear the alerts too, can you? For some reason, OBS has been doing this weird glitch sometimes where it's like, I can't hear it on my end. I will see the alerts though, because I have to log. You guys can hear, okay. Yeah, o o OBS is doing a weird thing sometimes where like, I have to reboot it with the capture card. But obviously I can't do that right now because, you know, I I've, I've stream's already active. Ancient, thanks for 100 bits. Is anyone named Aaron in Ireland? My name and I have a chance to transfer to Dublin, but I worry it will be hard to be taken seriously. I don't know, I think there's a few Aarons here, honestly. I wouldn't worry. Uh, Lena, thanks for 100 as well. Denmark has kind of, got, kind of gotten the whelp. Everyone needs to get the virus eventually attitude now. No one has fallen the safety rules anymore and everyone is back to normal. Oh god. Well, that's exactly how it goes in like all the pandemic horror films. That's that's the sad thing. Rockle Vista. Get a new recipe. There we go. Wait, no, I want the shovel because we're getting clams. I think I want to get back to the other beach, because that's like my longest stretch of it. What capture card do you use? Uh, Elgato 4K. I don't use it for 4K, but it does like 60 FPS and stuff like that, and it just, it's a very reliable bit of kit. Except when it fucking blips, but I think that was something wrong with my computer before. And um, less about the capture card. I haven't really had any blip trouble in a while now. What's your native fruit? Uh, here it's oranges. My favorite fruit is cherries, so I got a bunch of them next to my house. You should have seen Brighton Beach when the UK had that really warm day. It was pretty bad. Yeah, that, that's just sad. Like... <laughs> oh god. At least, it, like, in Ireland it is starting to settle, and, like, measures of... Being quite strictly followed. 
Um, so our Prime Minister used to be a doctor, so he, he kind of gets the severity of the situation. Um, which, you know, I'm quite thankful to have someone like that in charge of the place. Uh, at a time like this. Yeah, it, it, it means that, like, protocols have been taken very seriously here. Uh, and, and the Irish have, like, a good, like, sense of cop on. But that said, like, they haven't made a ruling on masks, though, at the moment, which is the one that I hope to change. Like, just please make them mandatory! <laughs> it would be a lot safer for us all. Uh, thoughts, thanks for 200 bits. It's been kind of spooky seeing the parallels at World War Z by Max Brooks. The book, not the movie. Seriously, the man's a prophet, you know, minus the zombies. <laughs> Oh god. RT for Prime Minister or whatever it's called in Ireland. Here it's called Taoiseach. Basically is Prime Minister. We have a president too, but our president doesn't really have any power. He, he's kind of like a culture ambassador more than anything. Opera's having a good old time with his lollipop. Or his lolly. I'm just stockpiling on some clams, and then we can search for the arowana soon. Because that will be the last fish I need for June, then. Which is, which is pretty good. Michael D. Higgins is basically just a mascot, to be honest. I mean, he's a, he's a wonderful, magical man, but... He's, you know, he, he's just the president here. You don't do too much. Kind of like just signs off the occasional thing, and he promotes Irish culture and tourism more than anything. Just the president. Yeah, I know it feels weird to say that, but it's just like an odd role we have here. <laughs> I wish my president didn't have any real power. I'm so sorry, cybernetic. Ah, dear. In Canada, our president, uh, Governor General, used to be an astronaut. I didn't even re okay. Didn't realize Canada had a Governor General like that, or president, I suppose. That's pretty bad because I'm actually Canadian. Whoops. It shows how uh, often I'm around. <laughs> I have my citizenship, but I'm not there every day. Ah, oh, dear. Can I get a few more clams then. But you're not Irish? No, I, I have dual citizenship. I'm Irish Canadian. Uh, I have my Irish passport and I have my Canadian passport. We've talked about that many a time on the channel, I feel. I don't think that's a surprise. You're not Irish. No, I am Irish. Uh, it's dual citizenship, though. I'm both Irish and Canadian. That's how it works. You basically just have two passports and then it's like you just declare your country a residency. As you do wherever you go in the world. That explains the flag. Yeah, that's why, like, there's a Canadian flag in my town, for that reason. They're mutually exclusive. The the not. I'm Canadian, I don't even know you. When you travel, which passport do you use? I can use either. Um, like, if I'm going into the States or something, I just show my Canadian passport at the border, and it's like, I don't need a visa. Um, which is real fucking handy whenever I happen to go over there. Um, but if I'm going anywhere in Europe, then, like, of course, I show my Irish passport. Um, because, you know, that, like, that's a European passport. But yeah, it's pretty handy. Uh, I can always hop over to Canada just whenever, basically, because I have that. I, I, I just no visa trouble. Again, by extension, the states too, because travel relations there.
Not that I'm going to be traveling anytime soon, mind you, but... <laughs> Uh, the option is there in future. Elated Dice are 100 bits, fake Irishman and fake Canadian. You've been lying to us all this time. As <laughs> you're gonna tell me you're not even a gamer. You born in Canada or Ireland? Ireland. But I have a lot of family in Canada. Why would you want to come to the States? Um, I mean, it, it's it's cool to visit the States. Honestly, like, for conventions and stuff like that, it's actually really good fun. And I have a lot of friends who are stateside, too. So, you know, it, it's, it's nice to be able to hop over for things like that. Like, I was supposed to be in the States um, this summer, like, for E3 and stuff like that before it was cancelled. I was looking forward to that. But, you know, it, it's all alright. Like, it'll happen again in future. The US is free refills. The one reason to go to the States. Free refills. <laughs> you like your Tim Hortons? Yeah, I fucking love Tim Hortons. I love, I love Timbits. What's your favorite country that you've traveled traveled to? I mean, it, it's probably Japan. Uh, Tokyo is my favorite place in the world, and I would live there forever if I could. Um, the reasons I can't is because it's on the other side of the fucking planet. I'd miss my friends, and it, it's very hard to get like kind of a visa, especially as like a self-employed person, um, to stay over there for a long period of time. But yeah, uh, I, I, I do love Tokyo. How much Japanese do you know? None at all. I, I just love the city still all the same, though. <laughs> ah, dear. Is that why you came home? Uh, I mean, it, it was a mix of reasons in the end. Like... Because I, cause I, I never really planned on the channel explode when I was living in Japan. And as time went on when I was in... Because originally, like, I went, like, to Japan, like... One, because I had the opportunity to go there, because, like, my roommate was already living there, and he was just like, hey, if you want to come here and, like, pay rent, and, like, here's a place to stay. And I was like, okay, you know, I, I gotta take an opportunity like that. And two, I was gonna teach English when I was over there. Um, just kind of, like, have some work and get some experience when I was just fresh out of uni. Uh, but as time went on, like, you know, I, I never ended up teaching English when I was there. Like, it, it, that, that simply did not happen. And the channel got to this point where it's like, it was growing like so fast and so large that it's like, I got to a point where I basically realized I, I, I need a bit of help in running it. Because it's, it's like, I'm not really sure of like some of the things I should be doing uh, in relation to managing the channel. And for that, it was just made so much more sense to just come home. I know, there's other tangible benefits too, like the internet's much more reliable here than in Japan. Um, just because of the way that data logs work there. Uh, but yeah, like, there was a good few reasons. No, I, I'm happy I came back. I'm happy I'm living in Ireland again now, too. Uh, living in the UK was... It, it w wasn't good for me in the end, honestly. So I had a very brief stint there. Kevin was right, he's the only true Irish streamer. I mean, he's 100% Irish, you know? Uh, his genetics are probably quite thoroughly inbred. <laughs> if it's 100%, which is worrying. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, my mum is just straight up Canadian. <laughs> and then my dad is Irish, so, like, I've got, like, a clean 50-50 split. How long did you live in Japan? Uh, pretty much a year. Like, I, like, I moved there, uh, January of 2018, and I got back just at the very end of September, and, like, the first, the start of October. Like, solid nine months. 
but 2018 was pretty much like year in Japan. And when I got back for a while, I was just trying to get on my feet basically and just set up a lot of stuff. In 2019, I was living out of a suitcase for most of that year, and I wouldn't recommend that to anyone. Um, but this year's this year, I, despite the circumstances of the world at the moment, this year has probably been a lot better than last year for me. Because you know, I, like, I have my own home now. I have my own place, and I'm quite comfortably set up. And you know, I don't, I don't feel like I have to scramble now to set up a lot of channel stuff. Well, I love what I do, but it's, I. I, I as time went on, like, with the right the channel explode, I just wasn't prepared for a lot of stuff that I then had to catch up on. Um, and it was kind of, it kind of felt like I had, like, a year to, like, manage, like, five years of change. Uh, and it, it was just a bit overwhelming a lot of the time. <laughs> but I got there. You know, and it's all set up now, and there's, like, a lot less I have to worry about. That's pretty good. Why are you making so much fish bait? Uh, because I'm trying to attract an arowana. Unfortunately, Nintendo hasn't made it so you can, like, mass craft these yet. You gotta do it one by one. Now you're finally taking some rest. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I'm very thankful for that. I have a lot more downtime now. In what city do you live? I'm in Dublin. I'm a Dublin lad. How did you do ending in Japan without knowing any Japanese? When you have even a little bit of Japanese, you can get by. I, I, very little, but enough to survive. And there's a, f a fair amount of signposting in English. Because uh, they were preparing for the Olympics at the time. Uh, Tokyo 2020. And so they were trying to make Tokyo uh, more accessible, basically. So that definitely worked in my favor there. Got the balloon, all right. I'm gonna intentionally ignore it out of spite. <laughs> and where, where is it? Where is it? Gee, someone should catch that. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Oh, God. So all the answer 200 bits. Uh, again, thank you very much. Say very thanks for 100 bits. Uh, I've always wondered this, how would you have taught English if you didn't know Japanese? Uh, it's not required for teaching Japanese. It's like a full immersion kind of teaching. It, uh, the, like, just constantly expose students to the language, try teaching the fundamentals in English. Uh, you, you, you don't need Japanese for it. You, it's kind of just like a teaching practice you can do. So it wasn't required. Okay, so it's now past four o'clock. I'm just gonna go inside real quick to just make sure everything's reset in terms of time. And like, like spawns and stuff like that. Here's Blue Bear's house, by the way. It's super blue. Oh God, love her, she's doing weights. How you doing, Blue Bear? Oh. Yeah, she calls me her like like her bestie as well, which is very sweet. He's having a grand old time there. Okay. Uh right. So Arowana. Let me have a quick old look. I just want to see what tier of fish this is. This is medium or large. Medium, large. That's unfortunate. That means we're going to have to catch a lot more fish. <laughs> and it has crossover with a lot of different kinds because it's in that category. Mm. We got to compete with both the large fish and the medium sized fish. Okay, so th this one might be quite tricky to get. Uh, but we'll do our best. So that that's specifically small. So we're just going to try and power through him a little bit. 
Okay, that's large. Hang on, let me just... At least you don't have any more eggs. True. Yeah, we actually have a chance to catch fish. Instead of just chocolate Easter eggs. Yeah, see, so it has crossover with black bass, unfortunately. So we're gonna, we're gonna find a lot of those as we go along, too. I might try go to a deserted island. See, see if we can get one with just rivers. I'll use up this bait first. What do you think of you two and Bono? I I I don't follow him. <laughs> I don't listen to him. Oh, is that the fit? Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> Too good at fishing. It's like, thanks for watching. No, no, I'm not actually ending the stream. <laughs> wow, that was surprisingly straightforward. Uh, I've now caught every fish that I need for June. <laughs> okay, so we'll just set, put this on in. Uh, that, that could not have gone better. I'm a bit busy, bladders. There we go. Okay, and I'm fine. Stream over. <laughs> I don't know how we get so lucky with the fishing whenever we're streaming. Like, I, I caught... Because I've been trying to find all of those fish for like, you know, a solid week. Off stream. But like... Instantly, just catch them all. The moment I'm playing this on stream, like I, I'm, I'm not complaining. Yeah, the, 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 the museum is looking pretty good at the moment now too. It's uh, properly fleshed out. See, got a lot of big boy fish. Guy's in there all by himself at the moment. We'll catch him some friends. It's huge. Extreme luck. Oh, the museum looks great in this game. Oh yeah, it's the coolest museum by far. Oh, I haven't met this name neighbor yet, too. This is the edgy chicken who moved in. Okay, calm down, Mr. Chicken. I'm not saying- <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not saying that this is a date. Unless. Is he, like, referencing the fucking meme? Haha, <laughs> JK. Unless? <laughs> no, definitely not a date. By the way, I'm straight. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ken. Uh, he's having a chill old time in the museum. Yeah, we got a fair few fish. Anything... Stuff does appear in that one eventually, I think. We just haven't caught anything yet. Yay, Evo Chicken. Uh, Ellie, thanks for 100 bits. Bits for Blue Bear. Thank you very much. Uh, th th this big old tank is looking amazing now, too, because we caught all the big fish. That's just sharks everywhere. A really cool display. And we still have the the deep fish uh, tank as well. Uh, we got our sea cat and then we got the little... The Popeye one. I can't remember his name, but the teeny one there. Apparently he's incredibly rare. We caught, we caught most of those on stream too. <laughs> we do get quite lucky. Barrel Eye, that's the one. Streamer luck <laughs> Basically, yeah, no, we, we, we do we do get incredibly lucky Not that I'm complaining. Yes, that that's every fish caught uh, And there's literally only two bugs that I can catch uh, For the rest of June which are rainbow stags and goliath beetles, and I think both of those are available Next month as well. I don't think they go away anytime soon June to September. Yeah, 
And in June to September. Yeah. So, we have a good old amount of time for those ones. Okay, well, I, I finished fishing a bit early. I didn't expect to catch them all that soon. <laughs> Uh, let me pop the bait away, and we'll go on some island tours, and we'll fish on some of them. We'll go to a des deserted island, and we'll fish there. My friend was on my island for three minutes, and she caught a sealer camp. Uh, that, that's crazy. What about bugs? Well, there's no more bugs that we can physically catch right now. Uh, they don't come out till five o'clock, and there's only two. These in storage. And I gotta sell you. I gotta go to the bank too. Your house looks so nice. Thank you very much. I I've been hard at work at it. Very happy with how it looks. I took down the eggery on the door too and replaced it with tulips. <laughs> I just wanted to get rid of as many of the eggs as I could. <laughs> They're all just sitting out here. Are you gonna sing yet? Around 6 p- These guys are just sitting in the rain for like the next two hours. Hans looks so fucking edgy with the hat, doesn't he? I hate- I hate him even more every time I see him. They're gonna catch a cold. I think they are. I'm worried about them. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get a Nook Miles ticket. And then we're gonna put our money away and we'll go on an island tour. They're fine, they're just devoted fans. Astro, thanks for 100 bits. Well, Dachi, thanks for 100 bits as well. Glad to see you streaming Animal Crossing. What's your fondest memory while living in Japan? Um, God, I'm trying to think. I, I really like my rainy days when I was in Japan. There's a lot of nice times where I just chill in a cafe or something. And I just, like, write on my laptop or something. Those are quite chill. Okay, no, that's the wrong one. ABD, that's the one I was looking for. Let's just pop a hundred K away. Still living off our turnip savings, as you can see. <laughs> we uh, don't really have to worry about finances anymore in this game. Where did the four million go? I, I bought, I paid off every like home loan uh, for my house. Fish family, thanks for six quid. Wait. Thank you very much. That, that's a weird message. <laughs> thanks, though, man. Okay. Sell these off, and we're gonna go on an island tour. RT with five million, here I am with like 200,000 dead. Like, literally just do turnips for like a week or two. You do turnips like once, you get a bunch more money to invest in turnips, and then you just invest all of that money again in turnips. It's a bit of a gamble, you got, but you just gotta do it twice. And uh, You know, you, you, can, you can just look online for like, to even look for towns to go to. It's like, I only have to sell my turnips like a, f a few times. I just made a fortune now. Okay, use a Nook Miles ticket. The wedding? Well, I'll, I'll look at the wedding a little bit later. Oh. Yeah, I'm next to two quid. So you're telling me the only thing I need to do to get all the fish is have an audience? <laughs> Basically, that's how it goes. You just gotta stream on Twitch.tv, and that's how you catch every fish you need. Okay. 
Okay, I, I don't think there's ever anything of note on the island now, too. Oh my god, I, I don't even know if I can get a fossil. I'm not really pressed for iron ore and... Like, I can still pillage the island for old time's sake, but I, I, I don't really need to. And they don't, they don't even have unique fish on these ones. So, we're, we're just gonna go fishing. We'll go in the ocean, we'll see what we can get. I caught a lot of sharks on one of these the last time I was here. There we go. Each one usually has a money rock, do they? I've never found a money rock on an island. I have found many sharks, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for them. Let's let's just go fishing a while. This is what we're doing the next while. I'm gonna keep reading chat in the meantime too. We can just chill and talk. Only the special one has money rocks. Yeah, that's what I thought it was too. I, I've never seen one, um, one on one like a regular island. Get out of here. Give me bigger fish. Get out of here. Scare him away. Look, 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 look! Get out of here! And these fish packing. I just gotta use my rod to get them off. They're sad now, Dan. Look, it's their fault for not being born a shark, okay? Don't blame me. Are you gonna play with the Irish lads? Not today. No, today today I'm just playing Animal Crossing. Stuart holding up? Yeah, Stuart's good. You like Irish literature? I'm working through Ulysses. Oh, good luck to you. No, uh, I, I, I do like my Irish books. I do like my Joyce. Ulysses is a monster of a book to get through, though, so like, I wish you the best of luck. It's just a challenging read. Like, it's physically painful in parts. Come on. You have any pets? Yeah, my cat George. There we go. He's back. Ah, oh dear. You know what, that's just, we'll just catch, catch an inventory's worth of fish each time. I'm not too picky. I'll catch an inventory's worth and then I'll head on home. And I'll, I'll get some coconuts too. No, let's just, let's just plunder the island for old time's sake. We haven't colonized this place in a while. I'm gonna work away at this. Good times. Like, ah, memories. Destroying these peaceful tropical locales. Like a little throwback to when we like just killed the environment. We made Tarantula Island. Ah, dear. RT, when will there be another build in Minecraft? At the moment, there won't be. Um, I, I don't want to play it again at the moment. Um, because there's just other games I want to play instead. You gonna continue Breath of the Wild today? Not today. Uh, tomorrow though. We're, we're gonna do some more of that. Like, but part of the thing with the Minecraft builds at the moment too is uh, I, I've done all the ideas that I, I think I want to do myself and it's kind of like like recently it's become this like trending thing again where like fucking everyone's like sticking on I'm doing it with a hundred players now again um, 
you know, it just makes me always sad to a degree because there's no reason it has to be a hundred players in that. It's just, it's just an arbitrary number we picked when we started doing those. But it's, I, I, I'm worried that it's like, like if I do more of them, it's just gonna like oversaturate people on like that kind of content. Uh, I'm already very happy with like the lineup I've done. A trend king. Apparently we're a Minecraft influencer. Like, like who? I never, never saw this coming. your advice for getting a PC, buying or building? I, I like to build them myself, but if you're anxious about building a PC, uh, probably just buy one. It'll give you more peace of mind. You'll have things like a warranty. It all began with digging a hole. Well, I, I, it didn't quite begin with that. It all began with like a knockoff McDonald's. <laughs> like, that, that was the first one we did. And then, uh, like, Starbucks Island was, like, one of the, like, the first... Uh, Starbucks Island and, like, the Fallout one were, like, the two really big ones, initially. And then it was, like, the Bedrock Cube that, like, propelled it to new heights. And that's when, like, I, I guess more people just caught on to, like, like, the concept as a series. And then, you know, everyone made, like, 50 million Bedrock Cube videos. <laughs> Sometimes it's not even a cube these days, too. Sometimes you get, like, a cone. Oh, shit, the shape is different. Oh, God. Doing anything with the new mine new nether update? Uh, probably not. I've been playing Minecraft in my off time, like, just casually. I will be in the championships. Um, I will, uh, it, the next one. Uh, like for next month, so that's gonna be good crack. But outside of that, I, I, I don't really have any like plans for like any special builds the next wall or anything like that. I'm uh, I'm taking a good old hiatus. Awesome 3 a.m. Thanks for it's, it's 117 bits as well. Maybe the devs are watching the stream and ha hacking your account to give you better luck to make Animal Crossing seem more appealing. <laughs> Oh god, it's like people who like rig the slot machines. Or like, uh, no, the claw machines. So people who rig like the claw machines, like they own a claw machine and it's like, I want a PS4, my claw machine! By the way, I own the claw machine. <laughs> Gus Johnson made a good video on that, like ages back. Like, we've just done that again here. We've completely rigged it. Uh, I've got an action replay inserted in the Switch. Are there gonna be highlights for this or anything? Honestly, I don't- I don't think there's gonna be. Not everything makes it to highlights. Uh, but that's okay. Like, I'm- I'm just having a chill old time right now. Go. I like this is just 20 seconds of him catching every fish. There's a rare one too. That's a Dorado. You prefer Twitch or YouTube? Twitch. Twitch without a shadow of a doubt. Um, this is uh, like, I don't know. I I, 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 I very much enjoy streaming and like my YouTube channel now, I consider just an extension of the Twitch channel. Um, uh, it's kind of like function is to like just have like highlights of like the streams for people who miss them, basically. You know, and like preserve memories from the Twitch streams. Uh, that, 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 that's the way I look at it. I know it's always a bit funny because the YouTube channel is technically bigger than the Twitch channel. Um, but, you know, it kind of makes sense to a degree though, because you know, everyone has time to catch in a stream, time zones are a thing. So, you know, of course more people are just gonna try catch the highlights. But, but, you know, like, Twitch is the main thing I do. And like, if I had to ever pick between one or the other, I would just pick Twitch with, like, in a heartbeat. Because I do love it here. Chat 
chat Twitch. Not the pressure at all, but you still playing Final Fantasy VII? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to get back to it at some point. Maybe down the road. Uh, at the moment, though, I, I've, I've just been I've just been feeling Breath of the Wild more than anything, honestly. And like, I want to do more VR stuff too. I've been trying. I've been like finding more games. I like, I just want to stream on that end. When's the next Zelda stream? Tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to beat Ganon. VR chat again. Not not strictly VR chat, but like just VR games in general. I have my index ordered. I'm very excited to receive that because that, that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I love some of the stuff I've done with the controllers for that. Roblox VR hype. <laughs> Oh shit, he's doing more VR stuff. Is he gonna revisit Roblox? <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, I might try Minecraft VR at least once just for like shits and giggles, because like that that might be good crack. I don't know if that works in like a multiplayer setting or anything like that. Oh, we got a big boy. Doing good. I already got one of them in the museum, too. That wasn't my first one. Amber, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Minecraft VR is multiplayer, is it? Okay. So is it literally just like a odd client side thing for playing the game? Like you can just join a regular server. And just play with people who aren't strictly using VR. You got some big pockets there. <laughs> got a full, in the aqua full aquarium in my pockets now. Are you going to do Modest Pelican collab? I don't know who that is. Sorry, man. Uh, FNAF VR. Oh, God. I, I was talking to the subs about this in, like, chat, I think a few weeks back. Where I was considering doing it for, like, just... Because I, I've never properly played Five Nights at Freddy's. And, like, I want to try play it with, like, as straight of a face as possible. Because, like, it, it, like... Because I think, right, uh, most people who uh, like, click on a FNAF video or something on YouTube, right? Y you want to see the streamer terrified. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you want to just see them, like, screaming and, and uh, the, uh, like, absolutely losing their minds. I want to do one as straight of a face as possible. Where, like, I just don't respond. And it's like, huh. I just look, like, a really phased and, un like, uninterested. You know, uh, you, you know how like on some theme parks, like like where there's the camera stand, and people when they pass that bit, they like to pretend they're asleep or something, so the photo looks really fucked up. That's what I want to do, but for the entirety of Five Nights at Freddy's, <laughs> if I ever play that. The only problem with that is I think I might actually get scared. I may not be the man for the job to do it. Uh, FNAF VR is actually kind of scary. Well, I'm, I'm not doing Five Nights at Freddy's VR, like, God no. Like, like that wa the Walking Dead game VR, like, that scared the shit out of me. You guys, I, you guys saw that stream. Like, like when it's right in front of you, it, it, it's like, otherworldly terror. So, <laughs> I'm not putting myself through that again. Oh, catfish. And we can educate you on five years of that lore to prepare you, I know from experience. Yeah, Hammy follows all of that for FNAF. Put a picture in front of your monitor, it looks like you're playing FNAF, but you're actually looking at a picture of a dog. And just make the thumbnail like as over the top, like clickbait as it can too. Where it's like just me screaming in terror. 
jaw has been like dislocated because my mouth is so agape. Now uh, th th there is actually quite a few VR games though. I like I, I want to stream the next while. Um, so I, I I will be doing them before long. Main thing I'm gonna be d doing like going forward for a while longer is um, still Zelda. So, you know we still gotta beat Ganon. Uh, the highlights uh, from the oh I missed that one. Highlights from the previous day are going live today too. So um, if you need to catch up, you'll be able to do that before the final boss. You know, I may even get back into some Pokemon before long too. May even try to do more of that. We could do a second shiny hunt. That could be a good crack. Come on, fish. Fish, please. Dude, thank you. It's gonna be an Apriama. Yes, it is! <laughs> First time I caught one of these, it scared me shitless. The big old boy. Yeah, some of them are like, like funnily like quite deceptive too, like the shadows is not as big as the fish. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Hello, thanks for 500 bits. Considering you're doing more VR games, VR streams recently, what's your opinion on streaming games like Job Simulator and Vacation Simulator? Um, I don't think I'll be doing... I mean, Job Simulator is one I have an interest in, I think. I don't know what Vacation Simulator is. Uh, I, I do actually have, though, a fair few VR games kind of picked out for the next one. I'm gonna be trying. Uh, I think I want to go through that list first before I find any more. And yeah, I'll, I'll, prob I'll probably do like a session of VR chat with VR2 at some point. I, I think that'd just be good crack. Meet up with like Monty and Johnny again or something like that. Get the gang together. Like, those are some really fun streams. Got a koi. Skyrim VR. <laughs> Let's play Skyrim again. Oh, that's got a fin. Oh, it's deceptive. This one sucker fish just ruins the fin spawns. They knew what they were doing when they added it. Are there any Irish lad streams uh, coming soon? Um, we don't have any plans at the moment. But I reckon there will be another one before long. You know, like, we're all friends. We do like playing games together. Yeah, like, the main, the main plans for my own channel is just Zelda and VR. Like, like that's just what I'm doing the next while. And then, like, we're just gonna squeeze in, like, like things past that. Uh, myself and like another uh, Irish uh, streamer as well. I don't know if people know uh, Justin Minx, but we're hoping to do a stream together soon too. Uh, she's proper sound. Irish lads D and D game. I don't think that would work. I, think be, I don't know if any of us know how to properly DM. I haven't DM'd in forever. I did it once, but it was like a decade ago. And the rules have changed significantly since. Okay, come on, fishy. Dude. Dude, you're looking right at it. Dude! I hate you. Please turn around again. Thank you.
Got it in the end. It's just a catfish. This fish makes me want to die. <laughs> I love an Irish lad Smash Ultimate Tournament. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to do that for a while, just because Smash is so bad online. Jeez, I'm getting real lucky with some of these fish. Um... But yeah, because like, you remember when we tried to do Smash Ultimate on stream the, uh, like a few weeks back? And it was just completely broken. <laughs> so I, I don't think I'd be able to do that with the Irish lads. As much as I'd like to. Eileen, thanks for 300 bits. Loving all the chill content. I'm also fishing right now. Hope you're having a nice afternoon too. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm having a chill all day. I'm happy to just be fishing. Nice to get in a stream like this every now and then. Uh, you know, I don't even have to worry about like... Uh, is this gonna go on YouTube or it's like... You know, writing up... Uh, how am I gonna edit this? Stuff like that. Uh, I'm just fishing. That's all I'm doing. Uh, it's pretty chill. This is much better than watching paint dry. If people keep demanding I do watch paint dry too, but I... I, I don't think it'd be as good. Honestly. <laughs> I think that- because we did it for like the novelty. I don't just want to become known as the paint drying streamer. Come on, fishy. No, no, not you, not you! The use. I'm sad now. Should have pulled up sooner. Ah, oh, dear. Geeky, thanks for 250 bits. Shiny Diglett. I don't know what shiny I'd want to go for next, honestly. I think I'd have to give it some thought. I do have like a shiny Quilava I need to raise up that Jay gave to me. But sadly, you can't transfer it into Sword and Shield. So it's kind of just like stuck in storage right now. I can't do anything with it. There we go. Red Snapper. Bought that with a sea bass. We got a very good haul here, honestly. Let him go. I'll just do some more casual island hopping, I think. I I, I might even might even leave the wedding, honestly. I, I I kinda feel in the mood for just fishing and chilling. Maybe do the wedding a different time. Because the wedding is basically like you design a house. Um for a couple getting married. But I I'm in a fishing mood, I think. No love for the alpacas. I'm gonna go sell my fish, and I'll get another ticket. If you do it for seven days, you get a special item. I haven't done it once this month. Um, I'm gonna have to see what the special item is, and if I still want to get it. Because I'm gonna have to start doing that, we don't have long left in the month. Razor, thanks for 400 bits. ART spent all day fishing IRL. Just woke up at, just woke up at 1am to catch a stream. Thanks for all the awesome streams. Oh, thank you very much, Razor. How many- how many hammerhead sharks did you catch while you were fishing? Cause uh, so, uh, I'm doing pretty well that on that front. Not the brag or anything. 77,000 bells. Boomer, Boomerang, thank you for 100 bits as well. What do you like to do in your downtime when you're not streaming or editing? Honestly, I like to play games. <laughs> I, I spend a lot of time playing games. I, I watch other streamers myself too. At the moment, I'm catching up with Jerma's uh, Sekiro Let's Play. Or playthrough. Uh, that's been good crack. But you know, I like building Lego. Um, Lately, I've just been kind of working on the apartment more and just trying to get more furniture into it and stuff like that. 
Yeah, this is, it's not as, like, normally what I would do is I'd be, like, I'd be out and about and I'd hang out with friends in my downtime, but can't really do that as much recently. So I've just been playing games more, like, hopping on group calls with people. It's been pretty chill. I watch other streamers. Hey, Connor, how's it going, man? Hang on, let me... Here, I'll pop a cheeky VIP on you. You can feel special now, Connor. How do you feel? No, I'm kidding. It's lovely to have you here, man. Connor, I got a sick stream drop. I don't know if you've heard this one yet, but I, this might be some comedy gold you should save for your own stream. Have you ever considered eating pan? <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's lovely to have you here, man. <laughs> ha, yes. Okay, I'm gonna get another Nook Miles ticket. Let's go back to the island. Funny laughed. Comedic genius. <laughs> ah, dear. Uh, Eyeless Angel, thanks for 500 bits as well earlier. I always thought Animal Crossing was dumb, but watching you play made me decide to give it a chance. Now I'm addicted. Oh, I'm really glad. Like, honestly, I think Animal Crossing is like a very hard sell of a game. Because you don't really do anything. But, like, it is just chill time the game. Uh, like... You, you, like, for some people, like, this is their game and this is their jam. For other people, it is just not. And I completely understand why people would not like this game. Uh, but, I, but I'm part of the camp as just someone who, like, who fucking loves it. It's just so chill. Hashtag vibes. Like, it, it is vibe in the game. Like, literally all you do is vibe. And it's amazing. It's too hard for me. But there's no difficulty in this game. Oh dear. Mr. Disco, thanks for 100 bits. Next stream title, me and the Irish lads literally just go to the pub and get absolutely pissed. <laughs> also just playing Isle of Armor at the moment since I don't know what to do with my island Animal Crossing. Only really done a residence area at the moment. I hope you have fun with the Isle of Armor. It's, it's actually like a really solid DLC. I'm trying to get all like the Watt features uh, in it at the moment. I'm trying to get some more armor right or too, because I know that will speed up that process greatly. Like when I wrap up streaming tonight, I'm probably just gonna feck off and play more Pokemon. <laughs> But I want to play some Animal Crossing today, too. I just want to get more chill streams in, in general. Uh, I, I love it when it's just like one day a week, it's just something like this. And I miss the shiny hunting days for like stuff like, like Wulu sometimes. We'll find something else to get. Actually, wait, oh, I, I, I actually do have something to show. Hang on, where? Yeah, so when I was searching, because there's like a Zorora max rate event at the moment, <laughs> I actually got to fight like one of the shiny ones in the event. And I took a picture of that because like, you can't catch it anyway. And I thought no one would believe me. Uh, but yeah, that was that was really cool. Yeah, so I, 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 I knew I wanted to show that at some point. Speaking of Pokemon. Yeah, so like there's an event going on where it's like people, trainers can beat like a million of those things. Um, everyone will get a shiny Zorora uh, for their games. Yeah, I have a Zekrom there because like I transfer Pokemon over. For some reason, Zekrom you can transfer into Sword and Shield like no problem. I don't know why. It's not in the Pokedex or anything, it's just like, Zekrom is just allowed. Like, I couldn't transfer my Victini over. Zac Efron? No, not Zac Efron, Zekrom. <laughs> from what game? Uh, Pokemon Black and White. It's just a Gen 5 one, but like, for whatever reason, you can just use them. 
in Sword and Shield. Missed it. I uh, sack Afro on my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> That girl will be future DLC. I mean, I, I I think that's what it's hidden towards, yeah. If I had to guess. I'm not complaining about that, too, because, like, Zach Rom is, like, one of my favorite legendaries. Like, him and Victini are the two I love. Uh, Victini's my favorite mystical. And then Zach Rom's probably favorite legendary. Did I get a Switch just to play Zelda and Animal Crossing? I mean, I'd recommend it. You can throw in some Mario Odyssey there, too. That game's a good time. Zach Rom voiced by Zac Efron, the upcoming Pokemon movie. Thanks for another 100 bits, thoughts from 3 am. Imagine black and white remakes possibly on the console after the Switch. I'm fucking excited for that. Uh, I, 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 I'm even looking forward to the Gen 4 remakes a little bit more now, honestly. I think for this year, we're not going to get them. I think what they're going to do is, like, Let's Go Johto. Uh, I think that's, like, the Pokemon game we're going to get around Christmas. And it's like, this is, like, another Direct or something happening next week. I think that's what they're going to talk about. Uh, but I'm excited for Gen 4, too. Uh, so, 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 I, I, I just want them to preserve a lot of the features of Gen 4. And maybe throw in like a wild area or two. Make like the, the marsh or something just a wild area on its own. That'd be really cool. Wild area is growing on me a lot more too since from like the Isle of Armor DLC. Because uh, like that, that, it's just what it should have been. Because like the one in the base game is kind of shite. For wandering around, but in the DLC it's actually cool because like there's actually a fair amount of stuff to do. So uh, I'd be happy to see it return more. Gen four better be good. Yeah, here's open. Yeah, like honestly, I I I I still hope they do Gen Five though remix at some point because like that will be like the Pokemon game I play forever. Uh, I I I won't need another Game Pass slash. Hi, this angel. Thanks for a thousand bits. That Grom is transferable because he has a form change. Have you noticed that almost all 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 of the legendaries have a form changes in the game? It's not including the Mega Evolutions, obviously. That's the only reason I can think of why he's in the game. Oh god, cuz you can you transfer shaman as well? This is a real interesting observation if it's just form change Pokemon. No, you can't transfer shaman. Okay, well then that's, that's not true if you can't transfer shaman. Yeah, his Giratina's not in it too. Okay, yes, yeah, so that, that that logic's not quite right then I think. It's probably just to do with some sort of future event. I have to take a guess. It means Pokemon you can combine. I mean, Pokemon you can combine is kind of a form change. Maybe though. Yeah, because it's like Sogaleo and Lunala are there. In popular opinion, Stardew Valley is way better than Animal Crossing. I like to each their own, man. It's not a competition. Yo, Sonic is better than Mario. Sonic is better. And if you like Mario, you can't like Sonic. Oh <laughs> my. What is Stardew Valley about, by the way? I've never played it. Ah, uh, it's basically like a farming sim game. It's like a life sim too, but it has it's its own take on it. Like, has bits of Animal Crossing. Mainly is bits of, like, Harvest Moon and stuff like that in it. Got some Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I mean, I, I've never played Pokemon Snap, but it looks like it'll be a chill, fun game. I'll probably end up streaming it. That looks like one that we could do in, like, a nice stream or something. I don't know how much content's gonna be in the game is the, the main thing with Pokemon Snap. It's like, isn't the base game, like, six levels or something? And it, it's very short. 
Like, I feel like a Pokemon snap, a Pokemon snap should probably be like 20 quid or something. Potentially. I don't know how much content they're gonna have in the Switch one. Oh, nice! Pokemon 2 push, though. Yeah, that's, that's the main game changer I'm waiting for. Let's be real. <laughs> ah, dear. Pokemon Pearly White. Honestly, my main hope for Pokemon right now is, outside of a new game being announced, I know they have more DLC coming. Maybe just patch Sword and Shield to add some of the DLC features and actually fix the base game a little? Maybe? Because that would be great. How about like a free content update where they just kind of fix some of the issues with the game? <laughs> but like bring over a few features that the DLC introduces. At the very least, if there's more DLC, then like, it, it's weird, because like, when the Gen 4 remake eventually happens, that could get DLC. And like, what's that gonna look like? So, like, that's kind of wild, and I'm kind of excited for stuff like that. Like, holy shit, let's add some more on the Gen 4. Let's see where we take it. Now, as long as it's not a case where like, they got stuff out of Gen 4, it's like, you got a Battle Frontiers locked, you gotta pay for it. Then like, I'll be happy with that. Base game needs to be the base game that it was back in the day. Otherwise, I think a lot of people are going to be upset. Unrealistic expectations. Yeah, probably. That's the sad thing. I just wish they tried a little more with Pokemon these days. A lot of the best parts of Sword and Shield for me have been just specifically that DLC now. Like, that and, like, the quality of life stuff for competitive, I think, is great. Just the means to get it is still as hard as ever, unfortunately. Like, stuff like the mints to change nature. Like, when you combine that with bottle caps and stuff, it's like... Jesus, you can just make your favorite Pokemon, a comp like, competitively viable now. Like, that's class. I like what they did with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It, that one was actually pretty good. I, I like what they did with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, too. Like, they they still got at the battle frontier. But, like, the world was still, like, very much intact. And there was some cool stuff going on there. I like that they even revamped, like, Marwell City, so it's more of, like, a hub for the game. But, yeah, like, since Sun and Moon, though, it's I've, I've just not been feeling it to the same degree. Sun and Moon just felt a little bit shallow. There wasn't enough stuff to do. And in Sword and Shield, well, like without the DLC, it's it, it's kind of garbage. <laughs> and I just wouldn't recommend it. Blitzy, thanks for 200 bits. Hey, Artina, there are eight generations of Pokemon. Do you think that they'll make a gym challenge where all the gym leaders and champions from a previous... Are, are champions from a previous... All the gym leaders and champ... Are champions from a previous generation. I mean, I, I doubt they'll do that, but they have a feature like that in Gen 5. It's called the Pokemon World Tournament. Where you fight every past gym leader and champion. And that was class. But then they just didn't bring it back again. <laughs> Are you okay, lol? That was just a mouthful to read. Vix, thanks for 100 bits. Speaking of chill Pokemon games, have you ever played Pokemon Channel? Is Pokemon Channel a game? I thought it was like just a storage box thing. Do you think Mega Evolutions and new ones will come back? I hope so. Mega Evolutions was so cool.
I don't think anyone really cares about the Dynamax forms to the same degree. The, the raids are cool that you can do, and like as a means to kind of catch just like a very strong Pokemon. Like I like that idea of like co oping with people. It actually is something a bit different. But like Dynamax in itself is the battle mechanic, it just, I, don't, I really just don't care. Welcome to the Animal Crossing stream where we just talk about Pokemon a lot. <laughs> I don't know how this has happened. Ah, it's fine. I really miss baking poffins in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. What an experience. Yeah, like fun little side game stuff like that was always kind of neat. Like contests and that too. It gave you something different to do. Go. In the Pokemon stream where we talk about Animal Crossing. Yeah, it's, it always seems to work out this way. Maybe I should have just streamed Pokemon today, but... Fuck it, I want a fish. <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield good for a first-time Pokemon player? I'd say for a first-time player, yes it is. Uh, it's very slow in how it introduces mechanics, but it will guide you along it. You know, for first time player, just get the newest one, honestly. Like, it tends to have the most meta polish. Say that, I don't know if that's actually true. It's a bit rough around a lot of the edges, isn't it? <laughs> I just get it because it's the new one though, and everyone's talking about it, sure. That or let's go, you know. Imagine if the Sin R remakes have unskippable long cutscenes, permanent experience share. Cynthia is extremely easy due to be in much lower level. Oh no, stop that, stop that. I miss when they. Uh, I, I've been an advocate of it, like, in the one gen game it appears in, but challenge mode, Pokemon Black and White 2, is one of the best things they've ever done. Because it actually makes the battles really hard. And so if you're a long-time player of the games, it, like, it's fun and interesting again. And I would love to see that just be, like, a staple feature that you can just toggle on for the games. Don't say it, you'll jinx it. Challenge mode Nuzlocke. If I do a Nuzlocke with black and white too, if I can help it, I'll pop a challenge mode on. I might be able to. Yeah, let's release this. Oh, it's time to go home. Why did it say we can't carry anymore when the game knew our fishing rod would break and thus free up an inventory slot? It's a bit unfortunate, Nintendo. I'm just saying. There's no more room in your pockets. By the way, here's some room in your pockets. The Animal Crossing gods are angry. Yeah, I shouldn't be too upset. I've had unbelievable luck on this stream. I've caught literally every fish I was looking for. And now I think... Yeah, so the Goliath beetles can now start spawning on the palm trees. Because it's now gone after 5 o'clock. I head back to- so like, when we're back on, on the next island, I'll just keep an eye out for them. Ready to go home. What do you think of The Last of Us 2? I don't follow it. I'm not really interested in it. Not my kind of game. Mate, this is not Zelda. What the fuck? Zelda's tomorrow, my man. I did say that. I don't do Zelda every day. Are there any games you're looking forward to? Um, at the moment, I'm trying to think. What's what's coming out that like might be something that like screams me or like is on my radar? Third and Sim 2, of course. 
Paper Mario? Yeah, Paper Mario looks like it'll be fun. Bug Snacks. Yes, Bug Snacks. Demon Souls. The PS5 games, of course. We got a few of them there. Skate 4? I've never played a skate game. <laughs> might, be might be time to try one. Could do that for a stream, maybe. Gotta keep that boot. I'm gonna store that away. Crash of the Wild 2. Oh yeah, that, that's that's the biggie there. Yeah, it's like, like I forget what they are sometimes. Like I've, I, I, I'm still excited for when games come out, but like I just lose track of the dates a lot more now. Like sometimes they're released and it's like, oh shit! Like I just don't even have time to play it at the moment. And so I just put it away for later. Like, I have, like, Xenoblade on Switch just sitting on the shelf. And, like, I'm very excited to play it. But, just other stuff been taking my eye lately. It's just a way of it sometimes. Put in storage. What is this? Log Garden Lounge. I'll keep that recipe, too. Will you do more Minecraft? I'm not planning to at the moment. There's other games I want to play more. Please tell me they're not actually making Skyrim 2. I mean, maybe it'll be like GTA 5, where like they just never make another installment and they just keep releasing it. Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming out on um, the PS5, guys. It's the enhanced edition of the game. How many enhanced editions of that game have they made? Don't tell about GTA 6. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. Just, just making a lot of money. Pop that away. Redeem some Nook Miles. Give me another ticket, please. Will you play X? Basically, yeah. There's games on my radar though. That, like that I'm, I'm planning to play, but again, I I never know if I'm gonna stream something. Uh, I, I, that's something to bear in mind too. Yeah, a game I'm probably most excited for, just thinking about, it, is probably like Breath of the Wild 2. I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to Demon Souls as well. So, like, that's just gonna be good crack. Basically, like, a Dark Souls game I haven't played before. Uh, I do like my Dark Souls. You ever finished Final Fantasy VII? Yeah, I will. I, I talked about, talked about that earlier on the stream, man. When is Breath of the Wild uh, 2 come out? That's a good question. <laughs> when does it come out? Because, like, normally we have, like, a Nintendo Direct around this time for E3, but it just... That just didn't happen this year, did it? Now no one knows. Sony did a conference to kind of coincide with, like, E3 as they do each year. Microsoft didn't, did they? Yeah. It's a bit weird that because like E3 isn't about so like everyone's just kind of spacing it till whenever. Normally you have this like huge week where like it's all just announced. And it's quite exciting. I guess it's just the way of it. Like it makes sense to like not rush yourselves on it this year. The trailer said it's in development. Yeah, like, I, on, well honestly like... With that game, I hope they take as long as I need, because, you know, Breath of the Wild is already fucking amazing. Like, I, I'm just excited to see what they do with it. Is that the Atlas Beetle? No, that's a Drone Beetle. The Atlas Beetle is kind of more red. Microsoft doing a few over July, I think. Okay, good to know. It's good to see you here, too, Chloe. Uh, we, we've been having a very chill stream here, just as an FYI. <laughs> I mentioned it to the folks here, even on the stream, that I don't think there will be highlights of this one, just so you know yourself as well. <laughs> as a cheeky heads up. 
Oh, I forgot to make a new rod. Hang on. No worries, I've been watching. Top 5 VR games? I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I did like Groundhog Day though. Uh, that one grew on me as it went along. Although I'm very biased because that's my favorite film. Fishing rod. Alrighty. Is this a special island? This feels the. I guess this is the waterfall one. There's like some crazy islands that I've just never gotten. That makes me very sad. Like, there's, there's one with like hybrid flowers. I've never even gotten like anything like the money island or that, too. The rarest one I've gotten is bamboo. Or like the most interesting one, even. This one just has tree tears. Bamboo is most common. Yeah, people are... <laughs> I do like the bamboo island. You don't need to remind me that it's not rare, if that's okay. It's the most special one I've got, though. I really wanted that island for a while. I like visiting that one. Every time I mention that, though, people are, like, quick to point out. It's like, it's actually not rare. And it's like, okay, thanks. Just, just as a little heads up. Like, I like that island. I treat it as a rare one. I very rarely get it. It's rare in my heart. You should hunt for a specific villager? I'm... I haven't got any slots in my town right now. I need a villager to move out first before I get a new one. It's not not rare, it's the most common, 10% bamboo, 8% the other common ones. Okay, well to me it's rare because I very rarely get a bamboo one and it's one of the more interesting islands. There's no need to go um actually on it, my man. I'm happy when I get a bamboo island. It's the Isle of a Million Scorpions rare. Yeah, that one's pretty rare. There is one where, like, the only spawn is just either tarantulas or scorpions. <laughs> that one's- that one's fucking wild. What I've seen. Okay. Does rarity even matter? Not really at the end of the day. nice to get the occasional odd island. Uh, like this one apparently is quite rare, but it's like this one, I just don't think is very interesting myself. And this one has three tiers, but it's like, I'd rather the one with all the hybrid flowers myself, thanks. You know? That just seems way more interesting to me. Blue Rose Island. Yeah, that's what I want. Why is it picking up the weeds? Uh, you can... There's like a... Challenge thing, I think, for picking up weeds. See? You just basically can't get enough of them in your own town. Hybrid island was removed? Was it? Why would they remove it? Why? Is it affecting the Animal Crossing economy too much? Oh, it was, it's, it's seasonal, is it? Is it just seasonal or is it like straight up removed? People were getting too much money. Oh, that's really sad. 
I've always been hoping for the hybrid island because it's just like an easy way to get a bunch of flowers. It's just removed. Ah. That's really disappointing. Not seasonal. Someone please think of the Animal Crossing economy. I mean, I wouldn't worry about the economy in this game. Like, you, people just making millions off fucking turnips. You know? I feel like hybrids are the least of people's concern. Yeah, that's a shame. I, I never got to find the hybrid island. I've always wanted to... I'm sad now. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Minako, thanks for 100 bits earlier. I wonder if you know or heard of Harvest Moon. If so, what do you think of the remake coming soon? Um, I know of it. I just don't play it or follow it myself. That's cool if there's a remake, though. Blitzy, thanks for 100 as well. Rice, thanks for 100 earlier. A Pokemon Master Mode with Permadeath will be interesting and challenging. Can you imagine it was just like Nuzlocke rules built into the game? How insane would that be? I don't expect him to ever do something like that, but I would like challenge mode to return from black and white too. If they remake black and white, if they remake Gen 5 and they remake black and white too, I need my challenge mode. That's a definitive way to play that game. Kiki, thanks for 100 as well. There we go. The Friends of Mineral Town remake. Okay. I, I don't know what which game that is, but you know, I'm sure some people are excited for that. I'm so sad that Let's Go Johto is next. Well... Let's Go Pikachu is actually kind of fun. Let's Go Eevee, even. I understand why they're doing it. It'd be cool to see Gen, like, 2. Um, just, you know, in higher definition. Now, I hope what they do is they'll let you go to Kanto on that still, because that's going to be very important. It'd be nice if they took more cues from, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So instead of like maybe let's go Johto, it was more so just like um, here's Heart Gold and Soul Silver too. No, I think think most people will like that, but I don't know if they'd go that far with it. I better not try cram black and white and the sequel into one game. Yeah, that it's, it's an odd problem if they ever remake Gen Five because it's the only one where it's like. It, if you remake it, which do you do? You know? They could do something similar to what they did with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where they add in, like, a Delta episode. Because that kind of added on a lot of Emerald's features, but Alpha Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, also, all of Emerald's features are basically intact. Outside of the Battle Frontier. Now, the story is just a little different. Yeah, for Black and White 2, it... It'd be hard to do because, like, even the the whole world changes. Even like some routes just straight up collapse between the games. Victory Road just has to get remodeled because the first one's too dangerous. First Black and White a better story, but two was funner to play. Yeah, like I, I think so too. Like the second one has just more stuff to do as well, like more quality of life. Yeah, I'm be curious to see how they do it down the road. I hope they do it down the road. We might get another Gen 1 remake before then. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's only been done how many times now?
What about black and white three? Well, it wouldn't make sense to do it that way, I think. If you're remastering it, like, you're just making a sequel at that point. Red Snapper. Pokemon Z. Yeah, Kalos got the short end of the stick, I feel. Like, I, there was a lot of stuff that was just left unused, it seems. In that one. Sun and Moon at least got the Ultra versions to, like, slightly expand on some bits. Although, with that said, those are the first Pokemon games I ever skipped in my life. Just because I just wasn't that interested. Come on. There we go. Kalos isn't the best, but I still enjoyed X and Y. Me too. The region itself was kind of cool. But there was just a lot of areas where they just didn't flesh it out. The story was kind of shite again, too. The story has been suffering in Pokemon games, though, for a while, I feel. Sun and Moons was not bad. But, uh, Sword and Shield is terrible. Oh, nice! A Coelacanth! <laughs> That's the rarest fish in the game! I did that the barrel eye. Is it? I get those all the time. Yeah, well, it's, it's why it's last in like the index. Oh, that's a sucker fish. Rachel, thanks for 200 bits. Hey, Dan, it's great. To see, it's really great to see a chill animal cross on the stream again. Seeing how your island's coming along. I'm playing while watching and loving fishing. Love fishing alongside with you on the islands. Oh, thank you very much. Boy in France, thanks for a hundred as well. Most excited for Pokemon Snap. Yeah, I'm, I imagine like there's, there's a lot of die-hard Pokemon Snap fans. I reckon are gonna appreciate that game. I just hope it's a fleshed-out game because Pokemon Snap, from what I understand, is very short. And there's almost no point in paying like 60 quid if it's just gonna be like five levels. You know? I think that's a fair concern. Yeah, let's get this. They have lots of little secrets in it though. Yeah, but it's not, I don't think it's worth that price. It's very expensive, you know? Say like if you pay 60 bucks for a game, you just want to make sure you get your money's worth, you know? And like, that's the only thing I'm worried about with that one. I mean, I'm, st I'm still gonna be getting it like, at any, po any rate anyway, like just to stream it and play it, because I think that'll make for a fun stream. I do just hope that it's a bit fleshed out, you know? I don't think that's unfounded to hope for that. Is this another seal camp? I am a prophet. Hacks. <laughs> Stop cheating. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of bells when we go back. Let me tell you. Give me the fish. Give the companion guy to this game. Uh, no I do not. Come on, buddy. Bastard. Oh, 
Scott, thanks for 300 bits. I'd forgotten that subscribers had access to the Minecraft server, and now I'm exploring it during the stream. Oh, I hope you have fun on it. Yeah, it's like, I haven't streamed Minecraft in a while, so I imagine some people have. I've always thought about it, like, because there's this feature on Twitch where, like, you can send, like, an email to everyone who's subscribed to your channel. And I've always been, like, considering just sending one, just to say, Hey, by the way, if you want to play on the server, you, you, you can do that. Uh, but at the same time, I I, I don't want to really, like, spam people with emails. I might be brave at some point and just do it once. It sends it to literally every sub on the channel. Is one email spam. I mean, I guess not. But I just worry about that kind of stuff. Just say this is not spam. I feel like any email that says not spam is spam. You know, it just puts you on edge when you open it. Like you walk in, like your neighbor greets you at the door. It's like, hi, I don't have a knife behind my back. Like they very well might not have a knife behind their back, but why you gotta say it? Suddenly, all I'm thinking about is, God, do they have a knife behind their back? The thought hadn't crossed my mind until it was highlighted. Come on, fish. Ah, uh, the for five quid. More seal accounts for the seal account god. Also, Avery's the best part of Isle of Armor. You guys are just mean. <laughs> Avery's a jerk, though. Ah. Uh, thank you for the five quid. Amish, thanks for 300 bits as well. They need to overhaul Pokemon like they overhauled Zelda with Breath of the Wild. Make it rated T and give it an incredibly dark story. Is Breath of the Wild rated T? I thought, yeah, I think, I think it's just E for everyone, isn't it? I'd be amazed if they, that they changed the, the rating. It's 12 plus, is it actually? It's actually kind of surprising by like even Zelda standards. They normally try to keep those games as accessible as possible. T for T everyone. <laughs> Yeah, this game's rated PG. PG for a pig everyone. Still 18 plus in rush. <laughs> yeah, I'll know side on flirts with you a little too much. Oh god, I still find that fucking hilarious that like Metopia is like M for mature. <laughs> like on par with Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, it's like the 300 bits. The solution here is to title the email spam. Uh, Mittens, thanks for 100 bits. Hi. Hi, I'm RT and I'm not gonna stab you if you open this email. Come play on my Minecraft server. Love the stream as always. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you doing more Metopia streams? I uh, just want to know. Probably not. Uh, the the reason I stopped doing Metopia is just because, from what I understand, the game is nightmarishly long. Um, and like it, it it goes on forever. And so uh, I I just didn't have it in me to commit for that game. Like, I I wouldn't want to spend that much time with that game because I, I this other stuff I think I'd want to play more. If that makes sense. It's kind of weird that I, like, it is just like, it's just, I, apparently it's like upwards of like a hundred hours or something just to play it. Like, it, it, it's actually insane. But just the funny me game.
Um, so uh, that, that, that's why I'm probably just not going to stream it again. You get your money's worth, in fairness. But, I, like, for streaming, like, like, if I was to do Metopia, like, it would be Metopia for a solid month and nothing else. <laughs> and that, that, that is too much, uh, Metopia, I feel. Like, we could do Persona in the time it takes us to do Metopia. <laughs> So, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I don't think I'm going to revisit in that capacity. But, you know, I'll, I'll see if I can't bring back some of the characters uh, from our Metopia playthrough in future. <laughs> 55,000 bells. We're doing pretty well. I plan to play competitive sword and shield. Not at the moment. So I I used to like try breed competitive teams for every for every single generation, but I don't play Pokemon as often as I used to back in the day now. That's like I, I just don't have like the time and patience to breed for competitive. Because I, if I get a competitive team together, I'm gonna have time just to do one, and then by the time that's done, the next gen is gonna be announced, and then you have to breed them again, because that's how they lock them. Like, I'd have to be, like, very serious about playing Pokemon a lot more than I do it at the moment. I already play Pokemon quite a bit. You can get around times and can breed with Hyper Train and Mints for Natures. At least with the current gen. Yeah, but you still have to grind for all that. That's the thing. But like, it still takes a fair amount of time. Like, it is some quality of life improvements, for sure. I know in the Isle of Armor they do more stuff with like the dojo, like you can actually upgrade it. Um, to like get more effort values and stuff like that. Like yeah, there's like a machine that just sells proteins. At like a discount rate. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna get one more ticket. And we'll do one more island. Last one, 3 a.m. thanks for 130-bits, so it's a JRPG made by Nintendo of Japan. What a- what a surprise. Uh, who could have foreseen this? I just wanna also- I don't need to do this right now, but I just wanna... Get that to 6 million, there we go. Okay, we'll get one more ticket. Nook Miles ticket. Just wanted to flex. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, something forgettable, thanks for 500 bits. RT, you wanna watch you suffer? Please continue Metopia. Or do whatever you like, we love you regardless. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's like, funnily enough though, like, I, because of like, because I'm not doing Metopia, I still think one of the longest story-based games I will now play on the channel is still Minecraft Story Mode. Um, which is quite tragic how that's worked out. <laughs> but that's just because we have to see how far down the rabbit hole that mess went. How long is that? Well, there's 13 videos on Minecraft Story Mode, like, we did all 13 episodes across Season 1 and 2. And I hated every moment of it. <laughs> I still get the occasional, uh, like, off-the-cuff comment on, like, those videos where it's like, You just don't appreciate the writing that went into this game. You know, I don't think you just resonate with the story, Daniel. It's like, because it's shit. <laughs> What writing? I guess it's as good as mine. Oh, God. We got Bamboo Island! Hey! I'm very happy with this. Okay, let me, let me start cleaning it up. There 
We're gonna bring home as much bamboo as we can. It's raining, you might be able to get some more coelacanths, true. I'm hoping because, um... Because all these are bamboo trees, right? This is gonna reduce the amount of bugs that spawn. So we're probably gonna be able to find our atlas beetle here. Um, if you think about it. Oops, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna try to get my atlas beetle while I'm here. It's one of the few bug spawn points now is the coconut trees. need to clean it up. It's a bit of a process here. I'll probably harvest the bamboo too. So I'm gonna have to hit all these uh, trees. <laughs> Be on this one a while. A lot of summer bugs, right? I mean, not just yet. Most of them I think come next month. Beetle season is when you get most of them and there's like, there's like at least 10 or so that appear, I think. I actually have most of the bugs already. Definitely have most of the fish. And Revenant, thanks for 100 bits. Minecraft story mode is actually a brilliant take on existentialism, I'll have you know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, thanks for 100 as well. I forgot to say this earlier, but my YouTube figures arrived today. They're so cool, I'm glad I bought them. Oh, thank you very much, man. Yeah, it's cool seeing everyone get them, uh, like, the past few days. It's weird to have, like, a piece of merch that's, like, that physical, I think. Like, you know, we, we have the shirts and that, and, like, we have prints. But, like, like there, there is something cool in, like, a figurine, you know? Never something I thought I'd have. It's like a mini-me on people's desks now. Yeah, I ho hope everyone likes them. People can have tiny versions of you, basically. Or in people's jars. Now you stop that right there. <laughs> this is the police. Let's get these bamboo shoots. Is there anything in Minecraft story mode that you thought was good? There was like one or two fun bits where it's like it looked like it was actually gonna redeem itself or make something a bit more interesting. Um, but then they were always quickly ended before it got good. I, I remember there was one bit in like episode four where it's like craft a diamond weapon of your choice and it actually let you craft like a diamond hoe and stuff like that, which I thought was actually quite fun. And like pick your arm. You're gonna gear up to fight the boss, but then just, just a shame that the rest of the game was awful. You really liked Radar, didn't you? <laughs> oh, Radar sucked. Forgot about Radar. I've blocked like most of season two out of my mind. This. It's so bad. We'll be finishing Final Fantasy 7. I think that's like the fourth time that question's been asked this stream, my man. Yes, I will. I've already said that. I'm just gonna do it when I wanna do it, if that's okay. You have a list slash top games you were excited for, but turned out to be a flop. Oh, I mean, I... I mean, Fallout 76 is like one I was super excited for. You know, there was a time where I was hopeful for that game. Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield as well, I was excited for, but very disappointed by. I'm getting more mileage out of it now, but I think it's specifically because of the DLC. Because it, it does actually add a lot of cool things. And like, redeems a lot of like, the awfulness of the game. But like, without that DLC, like, it, it's kind of a shit show. Isn't it pretty okay by now? I've heard the updates have helped it a lot. 
Fallout 76? I mean, I've heard it's gotten better, but it's still like microtransaction hell, apparently. And, you know, and Bethesda's never apologized for a lot of the stuff they fucked up. If you want to play, like, with your own private server, you have to pay a subscription fee. Just a, like, local multiplayer host. Which is, which is terrible. Minecraft story is more writing is the same quality of story I would make playing with Legos when I was eight. I don't doubt it. What's your favorite DLC for Fallout New Vegas? Ah, uh, Dead Money's class. I love that one. It's got a very different feel. Uh, most of the New Vegas DLC is like, here's a big new zone. New locations to explore, go off, have fun, here's some wacky quests for you to do. Dead monies? Just like, there's a bomb collar on your neck. And like, a guy is basically holding you prisoner. And it's a very controlled story. Uh, but it's really, it's really well done. Yeah, I fucking love dead money. Bit of bamboo. Is that the, that's the wrong beetle. There have been a lot more beetles already on the coconut trees, though, so I, th I think my theory kind of holds up here. But we should be able to find an Atlas beetle here. You play the Elder Scrolls online? No, I haven't. I, I haven't really been playing too many MMOs lately. I played this bit of World of Warcraft um, a while back. That was good fun to revisit. Only a little bit, though. And that was in part just because, it, you know, we were doing the whole stream idea with it. How's Mystery Dungeon going? It's going good. I'm getting there. I'm, uh, I'm taking my time with that game. Any games you weren't particularly looking forward to and were blown away by? Uh, there, there's definitely one or two that have been like that that I've streamed. You guys might be able to think of them off the Think of them before I do. There is occasionally games like that though where I don't expect much going in but I have an amazing time. Forza, yeah that was one that like, I, I didn't expect much of that. But uh, that game was really good. I can't craft another axe. Wait, I just need a stone and there's one right here. What a stroke of luck. Grimalkin, thanks for six quid. You know that bomb collar thing was based on a true story, right? Yes, I do. Uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved, I think, have an episode on it. It's, it's a real interesting one. Never forget the greatness of Ninja Ivor. Who could forget? Yeah, I need to I need to upgrade my axe real quick. I need three basic wood. Good start. That's one piece. Let me go over here. It's two. Okay, we gotta get it on this last tree or we can't upgrade our axe. Hey buddy, get out of here. We're good. We're good. Just in case we need a little more. What do you think of Pokemon X and Y are? The X and Y are pretty cool in some respects. I think Alpha, like, Alpha Ru- Well, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are just better, though. As far as Gen 6 goes. But yeah, they did get some stuff right. Like, the online interface in, like, uh, Gen 6 is actually class. I love being able to just wonder trade, like, quickly and stuff. Like, now you gotta use the mobile app if you want to do that, and it kind of sucks. Played Horizon Zero Dawn? Uh, no, I haven't. It's just never really been on my radar. The, oh, did I get all the bamboo already, though? Was this absolutely pointless? 
fire this one piece. There we go, we got a little bit. Any improvements in New Horizons you'd like to see? Uh, I'd like a lot of the stuff from New Leaf still brought back, like uh, Dream Suite. Uh, it's kind of criminal, that's just still gone. Because that, that was a really good way of visiting your friends' towns. Um, I'd like to see stuff like the cafe make a return. Uh, the, more of the holidays definitely need to come back still. But, like They're still kind of absent. Uh, the minigame stuff from the islands too was just really good fun. I'm surprised that I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that make a return. It was, it was just good. It was enjoyable. Stuff to do with your friends. Ah, uh, that's a drone beetle. Okay, my theory is working though. Get rid of him. There have been a lot of beetles on the trees. So we just need to keep an eye on him and we'll get the red one. Fish here a while. Can we get a cooking mom or IRL stream? I do want to do more IRL streams. I think that would be good crack. Why am I struggling so hard to line up this fish? There we go. We're good. Which season of Minecraft story mode did you think was worse? Well, the first one invented the series, so... It's just been kind of wrong since its creation, if you think about it. I mean, they're both very awful. <laughs> I would not recommend buying them. First one allowed you to kill Magnus, so there's that. Yeah, but it's also got like emotional moments where like Captain Sparkles is killed. And it's just... <laughs> it's just not what I signed up for. Uh, no disrespect to Captain Sparkles or anything, it's just the way it was done is just... Kinda jarring. Kind of awful. <laughs> I'm still upset about Turk Dog dying. You find any more calls with Plumbella, Wilbur, or Technoblade? I mean, me, me and Jesse are probably going to be playing more stuff. We both really enjoyed Lego Harry Potter. Uh, the others? I, I'm not so sure. A lot of the time me and Will just kind of chill in that and play games. Techno I don't really hear from as much. <laughs> I don't know him as well as some folks. He's a sound lad from my interaction, sort of. You're not a shark! Ah, oh dear. I forgot about the stream, I'm so glad I didn't completely miss it. Well, you're welcome to the stream. Yeah, we've just been chilling. Scribble knots something you might get back into? No, I've pretty much done scribble knots. Like I, I don't, I don't think there'll be anything to add. Is the thing. Like I love those streams for what they were, but it's like if I just did it, I'd just be doing more of the same, you know. Those streams are, those streams and the videos that came from are perfect the way they are. And I don't want to just do more of the same if that makes sense. You know, I, that's why it seems like I might, like, retire a lot of series after a certain point. It's simply because I, I, I've i done all the different ideas I wanted to. You know, like, like even in City Skylines and that, in the moment, like, I've done everything I want to do in City Skylines. Uh, in Minecraft now, I've, I've done all the builds I want to do. Uh, th there's no more I really want to do. 
right now. You think you might play Minecraft Dungeons? Sorry, this has been asked. Oh, no worries. Uh, probably not. It, it doesn't look like my kind of game. <laughs> The only time I might play this, maybe if friends really want to do it. I know Monty had some good fun with that. But like, probably not by myself. It, it, it's just not my game. I'd probably want to play Diablo or something instead. <laughs> I think that would be more fun. Ah, dear. Come on. Who needs a shirt? He really doesn't. <laughs> I hate him. I don't want him on a t-shirt. I don't want to be reminded he exists. Alina, thanks for another 100 bits. All the best. Have a good day. Minako, thanks for another 100. Can you believe that Pocket Camp Animal Crossing lets villager villagers interact with items like villagers jumping on a bouncy house? I'm sad. Yeah, I, I don't know why some of those features weren't brought over the New Horizons. Like, I feel like they should have. Stop. Mucked it up. It would have just been a, a nice little quality of life. You know? I get a bit more immersive. The villagers in this one still interact a load more than any other past game. I feel like every time you go to Town Plaza, it's just like it's a gym or something. It's just like villagers like aggressively like doing lunges and stuff. Or like, you know, they're all just singing. Come on. There we go. The singing is great. Oh god. Yeah, it's, it's kind of adorable whenever it just happens. You just stumble upon the plaza. That was a drone beetle. We're good. The red one we care about. Them singing is the best thing in the game. It is cute how they try to line up with the music. I've seen so many great, like, little gifts where they're just, like, complete dick or something. Like, you're building the road, you have one tile left the place, and they'll just sit down on that plot. It's like, no, you're not doing it. Oh, I'm mucking up my fishing. Come on. I love when they sing together. It is hella cute. Go. And this Tortimer? I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. But you miss the gr like the grouchy old mayor of the town? <laughs> Tortimer doesn't do anything. Like it. Isabel and Tom Nook have like made him void and obsolete. Tortimer is dead. He was getting on in years. Didn't Tortimer try to eat a sentient turkey once? Yeah, he did actually! That was really fucked up! The Thanksgiving event, he tries to cook, like, Franklin. Turkey. You can't just do that, that's like, ah... Uh, it's like just eating like one of your frog villagers. It's kind of twisted. <gasps> There's the beetle. Okay, don't muck this up. I'm dead on the inside. Okay, if I don't get it today, I'll get that one as summer rolls on. 
There'll be more and more beetle spawns. So there'll be more chances. Screw you. Aren't we all? Corzev, thank you for the 20 quid. I'm absolutely loving your content, RT. Props to you for all your hard work you put into making it. Can't be easy. How are you enjoying the Breath of the Wild Permadeath run so far? I can't wait for tomorrow's stream. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much. No, I'm I'm hugely looking forward to it, honestly. I, I've been loving the Breath of the Wild streams. And you know, I'm excited to beat Ganon. I, don't, I think most people are surprised I lasted this long or even made it this far. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's stream, like, like, if you can make it, 3 p.m. BST, we're going to beat the game. We will defeat Gan. Small one, then go for it, too. Oh, it's a different one. What is that, an EST? Use Google, my man. 3 p.m. BST. It's the same time I start at every uh, every time on weekends. It's always 3 p.m. There's a there's literally a clock that counts down in hours to the next stream, uh, below the stream. So you 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 can look at that too. But yeah, it's, it's uh, on weekends. It's always the same time. On weekdays, it's always the same time. Seven on a weekday, three on a weekend. You ever fear you might run out of games to play, considering your taste in games and the way you do content? You know, retire in a series? Ah, no, because, like, there's always new stuff I want to play, that's the thing. Like, I always find, like, new stuff that I want to do. And, uh, I, 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 you know, even, like, the, uh, the idea of retire in a series doesn't mean that I'll never play it again. It just means I take, a, like, a very long break from it. And then if I get a new idea, then I come back to it. Uh, I, I, I've, ret I've retired City Skylines like three times while I was making City Skylines content. Uh, yo, same with The Sims as well. Same with Minecraft too. Like, I, there was like, I think there was points in like 2019 where I went like three months without making a Minecraft video. It's just how I do content. You know, I, 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 I play what I want to play. And because I love playing games, I'm always gonna have something that, like, you know, I want to do next. But I wouldn't worry about that. I'm glad I don't push myself to do, like, daily content all the time. Because I think that would burn me out quite quickly. Oh dear. You can despawn fish by strenching at them? Oh yeah, I know, don't worry. Makes it more exciting if they do come back. Yeah, like, it's, it's nice to revisit them. Like, Hitman 3? Like, I'm, of course I'm revisiting Hitman for Hitman 3. I fucking love the Hitman games. Sometimes it's just a case that, like, you know, it just needs some new stuff to come out, too. More clown kills. Yeah, I, I believe the way it's gonna work is that you import everything into Hitman 3. So if you own Hitman 1 and 2, you still get to keep all those maps. Because that's how they did it for Hitman 2 as well. So that's gonna be like, that's gonna be like a super, like, like Hitman collection at that point. Okay, round two. There's a shark there, too. I got it. We're in the clear. Beetle acquired. There's only one left now, and that's the rainbow stag. We're doing good. When you get the rainbow side, I think that's only available after seven o'clock. Jesus! Fire she blows. That in my pocket. 
Pretty good. We'll just get some more fish and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, the theory kind of works. There was, there was more bug, like, beetle spawns. Because there was no trees here. That's pretty good. Honestly scared me. Ah, dear. I love the rainbow side. I think I saw one in my town before, but I scared it by accident. Which I was very sad about. Set, thanks for six quid. Bamboo Island, while it's raining, is super good for bugs. You can stick around to 6 p.m. You can farm scorpions. I mean, he's gonna hit 6 p.m. in a few minutes. We'll see if one spawns. I don't know if it will, because it's rain. For Malkine, thank you for another two quid as well. Uh, Sam Yanks for 100 bits as well. As I was playing Pokemon Shield slash Isle of Armor, I came upon a dark realization. The Wulu in the game still have their tails, whether they're wild or not. As a sheep breeder, I know that if you do not dock their tails, it's a sign that they are for meat and slaughter. I don't know what to do with this information, just thought I would share with the Wulu Slaughterhouse Master. Oh god. So all of the woo <laughs> are for slaughter. I mean, kind of makes sense. We did kill a lot of them. It would explain so much. Who wants lamb? <laughs> oh no. They're so cute, though. Well, that didn't stop us killing over 3,000 of them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Where's the lamb sauce? I think we're gonna need more of it. At least those Wulu will make some burgers at McDonald's. The lad behind the slaughter. <laughs> Can fish ever appear at this top bit of the island? Because I've never once seen them there. No, they can't. Okay. Yeah, so it's specifically like where there's beach then. That makes sense. There we go. We go to a tropical island for a vacation. Um, I've always got actually. I know it might be a bit cliche, but I've always wanted to visit Hawaii at least once. Part of the reason being is I do like Pokemon World Championship stuff there. And I've always thought that would be kind of mad to be there for one of those. That'd be good crack someday. Ellie, thanks for another 100 bits. Mmm, cupcake. Oh no. The Amishi Cupcake. <laughs> no! I'm one of that fish. Right, let's just check again. Okay, you shall be the last fish to be plucked from your island's ocean. Consider it an honor. There we go. Okay. Uh, that. With that, I think we are done. Hop on home. There. One click, quick Google search, and yes, meat cupcakes are a thing. Oh no. <laughs> okay, thank you, friend. And I just gotta remember to donate the beetle before I sell everything. Oh, you know what we'll do, actually? Okay, I can, I can do that off camera. Let's get a song in and we'll end it with this. 
It's gone six o'clock. Do we have any requests? What, what, what do I say? Give me that one song. Okay, so it's... Okay. Okay. People really want bubblegum. You're a bunch of weebs, aren't ya? Hang on, let me. <laughs> give me a give... <laughs> What's that one song you want? Have a seat. Hello, friends. You're in for a treat. I call it Megalovania. KK Slider song. Look at all the villagers, they're so happy to be listening to it. They're just vibing. They've got big happy smiles. Take some pictures. Why do you hurt Sylvan in this way? <laughs> It's weird since they had, like made a version of Megalovania with lyrics. That was lovely, KK. Thank you very much. Cool Daddio, thank you. Did that hit your ears right? What do you think, chat? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a confession. I didn't know the song you wanted. He, he had no idea what it was. And I have no space in my inventory to collect the song. We're gonna have to listen to it again. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't. Oh, God. Thank you, everyone, for coming by the stream today, though. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. It was a very chill one. That was a good crack. Ellie, thanks for your 100 bits right at the end. 
Oh, I caught that before. Thank you again, though. Yeah, thank you to everyone who subbed, and thank you for all the bits. Apologies if I didn't miss any. OBS is doing this weird glitch sometimes now where I can't hear the sound. I know you guys can. I know you guys can still hear all the alerts, and you can hear stuff I play on desktop. For some reason, I can't unless I restart OBS. <laughs> but I can't do that after I start streaming, so it's a little problematic. Apologies if I didn't miss any though, and thank you as ever for the support. I do hope people enjoyed the stream. Um, in terms of sending you guides on the places, um, just as a first heads up, a new highlights video just went live on the channel. It is Breath of the Wild uh, from Thursday. Um, I'm going to be streaming Breath of the Wild tomorrow afternoon, and we're going to be fighting Ganon. So if you plan on coming to that stream tomorrow, now is a good time to catch up on the highlights. Uh, for the previous Breath of the Wild streams, just as a heads up. But day 6 is now live on the YouTube channel, and I'm gonna just send you over there. Um, in terms of people going on Twitch tonight... Uh, I mentioned Demon Souls earlier, and how I'm looking forward to playing it. Uh, Epic Name Bro is currently... Just playing it, so I'm gonna leave you in his care. Uh, he's a lovely lad. Bye, you suck. It's nice to see you too, Jesse. <laughs> yeah, go say hey to Marcus. The lovely lad. Yeah, thanks for coming, folks. I will see you all tomorrow afternoon. Until then, have a good night, lads.